Welcome back to the Missing Peace podcast. So I'm here today with three male guests. I'm feeling a bit outnumbered. We're here to discuss men's mental health and how that can affect relationships. Um, as you all know, the theme of the podcast is making peace with your past and moving forward. So I'd like to go in order to my right and ask you, what's your name, where you're from, what you do, and is there anything in your past that you feel like you've had to make peace with and move forward from? Um, my name is China. The man in voice. I've come all the way down from London to come down to the Missing Peace podcast. So shout out to Alicia for having me down. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. Whenever people say, "What do you do?" I said, "I don't have a job. I just do what it takes." And you know, check out. You know, if you if you if you if you follow me, if you check me out, you know I do a lot of stuff. So it's kind of kind of one of those things. Probably come out a little bit more in this in the mm. show today. Um and. Suppose we all have a lot of stuff to make peace with our past, um, stuff to, that we have to make peace with from our past, and I probably made some peace with some stuff, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Daniel. Uh, I could have identified as a female, so you might have had, you know, you could have had two, two females, two males. <laughs> I do identify as a male, uh, from birth. Um, I am a CBT therapist, and I have a coaching business where i help people with their with their confidence figuring out what they want to do with their life that's what it seems like a lot of people have problems with now in terms of what in my past have i made peace with or do i still feel like i need to make peace with anything i don't think there's anything i would talk about publicly that i still need to make peace with yeah the one thing that i never share publicly which i'll say now is anything just regarding my kids yeah just because th they actually mean something to me. Mm. The words I say might affect my life. In some ways it will affect them, but I'm not going to say anything about anyone I know personally, especially my children, that could affect them. Um, so nothing I would publicly be like, oh, this is horrible in my life. But I have made peace with a lot of things in the past. I had a bad relationship with my brother because I used to be insecure. Um, not insecure like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing in life. But I just never really had a good concrete understanding of who I was. And when you don't know who you are, you think other people are gonna like fight you or you think other people are gonna make you up and that was never the case. So I, I remember specifically actually going to my brother and saying, I apologize for the way I treated you when you were younger. I hope you can forgive me, we can move forward with that. So I've made peace with everything I need to. I respect that, that's really big. That was wonderful. Oh, um, I'm Kingsley, I'm an IT engineer. I'm also a property developer as well. On the other hand, um, I'm also a farmer, so I'm into agricultural farming. Back home in my country, Nigeria. Nice, bro. Uh, yeah. So when it comes to making peace, I think I've already made peace with myself because the only person who can make me happy is just me. Yeah, I'm absolutely. making peace with other people. It's like me forgiving myself first before applying that to other people. So I think um, I've already done that with myself because I've made wrong errors in my past relationships. Yeah, man, you know, I, I learned from my mistake and also I look towards growing in terms of identifying the areas of my life I need to improve on where I also need to drop down like bad habits and stuff like that. Yeah. I love that. So um, I'm not sure whether you guys know, but my job that I do, I'm a domestic abuse advocate. Um, I don't know if any of you have watched the first episode, but that was a domestic violence special with Emmy. But what I wanted to I wanted to tie into this is um, I do really want to talk about men's mental health because I feel like um, there's a lot of men that think that I might just be here for the women or I'm just a, you know advocating for the women. I'm not about that. Like I, I do advocate for men as well. Um, you don't have to. No, I do, I do, um, but I just wanted to discuss men's mental health and also how what role that can play in affecting um, relationships. So, has anyone here suffered with mental health issues? I've experienced depression, but not in the same way that I would say, at least the patients I deal with experience it. Like, yeah. I've just felt tired, not enjoyed things, 
But the thing that I've always known is that I can't let that take over my life. So regardless of how bad I ever felt, I would always be working out every day, eating as healthily as I could, as much as possible. Yeah. But that's about it. Yeah. And I had me, one panic attack once, which was weird. But yeah, go on. Yeah, for me personally, um, I think I never know. I never know what mental health is. When I first came to this country and I heard about people talking about mental health, I was well, like, what What do you guys mean? So I went to my own research whereby it's all about anxiety, depression, you know, stuff like that. So the first time I actually felt depressed all my life was when I lost my dad in 2020. So that kind of, with my relationship with my dad, it's like a bond. So like something inside of me left me, something died. So uh, within that period of time, I can imagine myself, I felt lost. I was very depressed for the first time ever in my life. I was very, I lost my senses. I was confused to the point that I can go to work, come back, put something on the stove, thinking that my mind, I left something in the kitchen. And before I come down, the pot is already burn off. So that happened like four times where, where I used to live. And it's by the grace of God that nothing happened. So yeah. I was like, imagine if the house got burnt, yeah, you that's me going to prison. <laughs> wow, you could have potentially lost your life as well. Exactly. So, and the people live in. So each time I do that, like my mind goes somewhere else. I put, I come back, rest, then, okay, let me find something to eat, put something on the stove. Then my mind is somewhere else because I'm just not myself. Yeah. That sometimes I just go to bed, then to be my neighbor, I would just be wondering what's smelling, then start screaming, then I wake up, then immediately, oh yeah, I remember I left some food on the stove, and I was like, oh shit. Mm. You know, so I was like, I, when I, I explained <coughs> that, it was very, very tough for me. Yeah. So how I actually overcame it was I started praying. So I, started, I went into prayer, so I keep asking God, I've never been in this situation before, just take me out of it. So I was like praying and also fasting at the same time. So within a month, I go back to myself. You know, all that, I, all that depression, anxiety, pain, I start feeling happy. I start going to gym, exercising. I start getting back to my senses. To, be, to the point I was even more courageous, even when I went back to my country to bury my dad. I can't imagine like throughout the whole burial, I didn't cry. I was happy. So after the burial, I was like, what happened? You know, where, where was this solo went to? It's because I trained myself within that time not to cry. I trained myself within that time to be, to leave that situation because I know if I put myself in that situation, it's going to throw me down. But life in general, it's like sometimes you may look back on what happened and you still feel emotional. Yeah. Yeah. But I do think as well that it is important sometimes to cry. I've been I've been through a lot in life and I I think I've got to a stage where I'm emotionally numb, but I don't think that that's healthy. I feel like sometimes you just need to release and cry and let it all out. And uh, of course, like being males, you're told from when you know you're young, oh boys don't cry, you know, and that's how a lot of a lot of males are, are brought up, uh, not to show emotion and oh come on you're a big boy, like big boys don't cry, and uh, I think that's really unhealthy to be honest. Yeah, it's scientifically unhealthy. Yeah. To, to me, it's okay to cry. Yeah. It's okay to cry. <laughs> you, you should cry. So you should healthy, cry. Just, just let, let, let it out go, you know. Just yeah. let it out go. And after you finish crying, you still be a man. Yeah. And carry on with your duties yeah, like, as normal. I, I believe you should cry. Um, like, I believe you should cry. But you shouldn't cry to a woman. Never. Why? You should never cry to a woman. Why? Why should you cry to a woman? Do you feel like that will make you come across as seem weaker? To the woman. women don't want to see the, um, a man cry even if a woman says she wants to see you cry she does not want to see you cry trust me you can cry to your i'm not saying a man shouldn't cry cry to you if you've got a sister cry to your sister if you've got a mother cry to your mother cry to your dad cry to your friend come and cry to me speak to me because if you cry to me i'm going to know this is a 
Like, men don't cry every single day. And if I see you cry, this is, this is a moment for intervention. This is a very serious matter. So, um, yeah, I don't ever advocate for men crying to women because you're going to lose your woman if you cry to her. I don't no, believe uh, that. That's because, <laughs> if, that's because you think yourself weak by crying. Crying no. is a vulnerability, not a weakness. No, I'm not weak at all, but I know that women don't want to see the man cry. Let me tell you something. You're supposed to be a rock. You're supposed to stay strong in times of crisis. You're not supposed to cry. Even you're supposed to be a president of a country, a prime minister. Even in times of war, you never see them cry. You do not see us cry. You're not supposed... I, you're not well, supposed. You, there's literally a video. How do you know? There's, a, vid there's that's, a video of Barack Obama crying when and, kids were shot in school. Exactly. And what type of president was Barack Obama? Exactly. Exactly. Compared it, with who? It, what do you mean? He had his... Okay. When you look at Barack Obama, president, we're not even going to get into that. But even when we look at how his wife was, what other woman took the, the same role as um, Michelle Obama? She literally... Don't see how that's relevant. No, because it's very relevant. Because you're not supposed to have your woman that is um, the first lady moving like a president. She was almost as famous as Barack Obama. She's the only one. When it comes to black men, especially for black men, with our women, they want to they assume the position of the role of the man. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be number two. Hillary Clinton, who all them other presidents' wives... Um, what's the other one? Um, Trump's wife, um, Helena Trump, whoever her name is. Hello, they, yeah. They stay in the background, and so what I'm women should just sit in the well, background. Well, here, here's, here's my take. Well. No, yes, yes, because you're not the president. Yes, yes, you're yeah, the first. You, it doesn't make you weak. You're showing it as a united front with your no, partner. You're not, no, 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 no. I've got a question for you. No, no, hold on a second. Hold on a second. He's the president. This is his job. This is not your job. There's no united front here. You have a job role. Why do women keep diminishing the roles that they have been given? That are very important roles. Yeah, but roles. she was just showing her support. I don't think no, she no, was no, going no. to you show, them up. You show support from behind. You don't show support from the front. If you could... Listen, this is what... Okay, this is another thing. What I've, I've, let me give you another um, example. When people want to support... I don't support Black Lives Matter and stuff like that. So, But for example, if you want to support a movement, yeah, and you're an ally, you don't support from the front. So I really hate when people want to tell me about, oh, you don't support Black Lives Matter. Like, oh, but hold on a second. You don't tell me about what... You know what I'm trying to say? You're an ally. So you don't lead, you support. So you come from behind. A woman is support. Like, so if you're the president and she's the first lady, she's not supposed to be assuming the same role as the president. In what and way you're was supposed she to know your role. Same role. Huh? In what way was she doing the same role? She was too active. She was too front run. This there was, there's is my been opinion. No... But as a guy, yeah. I want my woman to be as good as me, if not better. That's me. The woman as a is man. not the president of the country. She was not voted in, yeah, bro. She wasn't. Exactly. So did why she, have? Did so she what, make any presidential decisions? No, it's not about. Listen, it's not about. That's president. literally what presidents do. No, no, no. She. What, in actual fact, in actual fact, more, in actual fact, more women make presidents presidential influence the um, the country behind the scene. Women have always done that. Women have always whispered in the ears of of powerful men and politicians and and influence policy. They don't do it from the front. It's disrespectful, bro. Your wife, if I'm what the main... influence from the front? No, it's not about influence, about how it looks, it's about optics. What you just said. No, but I'm saying to you, it's about optics, yeah? Why is she... I don't care about influence from behind the screen. The optics of Michelle Obama being right-hand sided with the president, yeah? It's not good because she's the only one that's done it. And what so? I'm trying to say, it, it has... What do you mean, so? So when the first black man president gets the role, he has to share it with his wife. What the hell? Why are you seeing it as sharing? No, I you, feel like he wasn't sharing the role, but I, 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 I don't feel... He, she's the only pr first lady that has assumed that much... Yes, but yeah. he, he, if he had an issue with her doing that, then surely... It's, it's not about her having an issue. It's not about that. It's about the optics of it. It's not about the issue, because there's a greater issue. It's how it makes men look. So it's you how just it's, want him to save like all the limelight. It's not my perspective. A lot of people's perspective. A lot of people are stupid. Okay, I'm not saying no, you are, but no, I'm just saying it's generally. Not, like, it's, so it's not saying stupid. it's a mass, it doesn't mean anything. She's the only one, the first time we have a quote-unquote black president, yeah? The first time, yeah? He has a wife and she assumes the role, almost a role as a president, yeah? Even though she was not voted in. Whose so, fault is that? His fault. So why you... What? What's it got to do with women? Obviously, he wanted her to play that role no, and you're have that what, much influence. You're missing otherwise. what I'm trying to... No, because I'm saying to Because she was talking about, oh, why can't women stand? I'm saying, no, then that's why they don't do that. Because she, you have a role. Why do you keep diminishing the role that you have to try to take on a man's role? I'm, I'm confused. So if, if, if I ever became president, yeah. I would make sure my first lady is the first lady. She's going to be doing everything she can to show she's a powerful role model for women. That doesn't diminish exactly. me. It's that's got exactly. nothing to that's, do with That's me. not what she was doing. See, 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 see. Okay, well, I'm saying me. Yeah, I know. And this but, is my opinion versus your opinion. No, but, no, but, but if you have her, 
assuming a similar role as you. In what st- way was she doing? Where, I don't get it. The, come on, man. The way Michelle, listen, we all know it because the way I said it, no other woman in the history of presidency has been as active as she has. And that's been something that's well, a, I see that okay. as a positive thing. Though, you like would see it as a positive thing, but, but us as logic. black men, that's a negative thing because the first time a black man gets a position, what does he have to do? He has to share. He didn't uh, have to. He chose to. No, but whether or not he chose to or not, the optics of it is bad. So if you get a black man that's influential and he chooses to do something and the optics of it are bad, it has a big influence. That's what I'm saying to you. It doesn't. He's not one man by himself. He he represented the dream by many people, yeah, which was I not for Yeah, I feel okay. like you've perceived that as a bad thing, but not yeah. everybody has. It's, it's, we don't ever speak in absolute, so we don't talk like that. So of course that's not everybody's going to do that. Saying you never speak in absolutes but, is an absolute. No, we don't. Because how can everybody, how can no one, everybody thinks of anything? So we can't ever do that. Of course not everybody thinks okay, that. Okay, well, you, one of your arguments was the first time a black person became a president, yeah. his wife was at the front and that's never happened before. Yeah. And that's maybe why it's bad. If no, I'm... it's not just why it's bad. There's other reasons. But I, sh- I, I, I made an example of, of why can you not be happy with the first lady position? Why must you try but to... How do you know she... No. Was no, the one pushing for it? No, it's not he even about. Might he might be like, "Listen, her. I like, want you to be at the front okay. doing all this no, stuff." No, but no, but then that's the point where you say, as a woman, actually no, because this what this is bigger than that, what? and that's the point. You're the leader. You tell her what to do. No? no, but so what we're doing is, yeah, we don't know. Hyper, we don't know. All it matters is, is it does not look good, and Why? and you as because I just explained to you. I just told you. How what, do you know? What, well, I just explained it. How many times you, you said it looks bad because it's never happened before in history, but there's never been a black president before in history. So with that same logic, it would be bad to ever have a black president. No, like, of course, I feel like not. That specific how, how, instance is the bro, same logic. How are you comparing apples and oranges, bro? What are you talking about? You, you said no, it's bro, never bro, happened bro, before. Bro, bro, and the same thing has happened with black it, presidents. Listen, listen, so listen. That's not listen. the case. We've had the first time we've had a black president, yeah? We've had countless white first presidents, time. yeah? The first time. I'm focusing on the fact that he has a wife that is unelected and she's assuming the role of a presidency is too active and it's never happened before exactly. and I'm saying never as, happened before. Yeah. so we're making history but that do, you, do you can understand see the comparison I'm making but that's not good history though do you understand the comparison but, I'm making but that's not good history I, I'm confused you're, say, you're saying that because it's happened for the first time and it was a black person it's yeah. bad which is the same thing for presidency but look we've got another president now Biden and his wife doing it no so What's, what are we talking about? What, what are, are you we talking about? about? If it was that, if it was that monumental, if it was that legendary, why ain't it done it again? Where's Biden's wife? Do you even know her name? Do you, to be honest, well, I don't do, really do you know, know her name? I don't follow what, presidency. Do, do you, I no, don't. But know you her. knew Michelle Obama's name, though, didn't you? Why I did you? Because yeah. she's all up in the face. That's I know why. Melania Trump's no, name. No, but no, no. But I'm asking her. The average person. I ask, what's what's Biden's wife's name? I don't know. Exactly. Jill, Jill, Jill Biden. See, exactly. You don't know. You don't know. Well, and the reason why you why don't... Why are you saying that like it's a wait, good thing? No, 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 no. Why is that good? No, Tell me why that's good. Because the reason why you don't know is Tell because he does not push his wife to the forefront. I just explained it to you. Well, why is that good? Hold, hold on a second. Because I just explained to you, if it was such a good thing that Barack did it, why have the, why has the president that followed him after it, who apparently had more votes than him, why hasn't he done it? Oh, yeah. Because Tell me why. Personal, I just explained it to you. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You asked me a question. No, because he emasculates... Why is it? Because he emasculates the man. He emasculates the man. What do How? you mean? Bec- Bro, like, well, like, <laughs> in what way does a woman's position diminish mine? That's what I no, don't no, no, understand. No, 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 no. That's what no, you no, just no, no, said. No, that's not what I said. A woman trying to assume the role of a presidency role when she was not voted in by the people, yes, when it's never happened before, when you're the first black man to ever do it, emasculates black men. Yes, it does. Well, it I does. Who let her do it? If her, if her husband Who let her is do confident it? I don't in his own ca- I don't skin. care. It's like, Will, okay, let's do this. What about Will Smith? What do you buy about Will Smith? Yes, yes, yes. He's a man. Yes, but he's still emasculated. Can he not control his life? Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. If a woman can emasculate on, you, that's on hold you. Hold on a second, hold that on a second. You. Yes, yes, no but woman you're missing what I'm trying to me. say to you. The optics of it are still bad because the ramification and, and the ab- um, what it has on black men still affects us. So what I'm trying to say is the most powerful man in the world who has been voted in, yeah, we've waited for this moment, he could not even just have the limelight by himself. He had to share the stage. And he didn't what? have to. Oh, well, I feel like we're going to have to agree to this. He didn't have Language to, but he did. Listen, okay, he didn't so have he did. to, he but to. he did. Regardless of what he did, so he, he did it, yeah? And what I'm trying to say to you is, it emasculates black men. How? And you're saying... I just explained it to you. Yeah, but you're not actually giving well, an explanation. Well, in our, in you our, say? In our you views, said I just told you. I just, like I just you said, it, you said it looks bad, but you haven't no, actually I've said explained why. It to you. I've explained it to you because you actually no haven't. other powerful man, yeah, when we look at presidencies across the world, Vladimir Putin, Bear Man, no one does so, it. No no, how, no, how does that how does that 
signify or even lead to emasculation just because no one else has done it. Because the strong, powerful leaders who are seen as strong don't do that. So, so maybe he's the most masculine one out of them all that he feels comfortable to have his wife. So, have you so, ever seen it from No, that? no, no, no. Because it wouldn't work like that. 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 If 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 a hundred people, yeah, if a hundred people think one way and then you think the other way, chances are, statistically speaking, you're the anomaly, not the other people. Well, so that's so not true. so but Hold on a second. Okay. No, obviously back in the day. No, they haven't have because if they changed, then Biden would have would have put Jill to the forefront. They haven't changed. No, because Biden probably wants to take all the limelight for himself. He's probably that kind of man that what, doesn't. So then all the other presidents are that type of man. And what type of man wants to take? What do you mean? What type so, of woman wants to take Barack the limelight? What, what, what type of woman? What type of woman? What type of woman wants to take the limelight of a man that's worked his whole life she for did, this I, moment? I feel like she didn't take all his. Well, limelight. so 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 you miss. Listen, she's taken enough limelight where you know about her, where the, you don't know about. The other presidents wise what i'm trying to say to you is even the fact that you're fighting you won't even let them you don't realize by letting this man have this moment how how great it's going to be you don't because you want to have the moment it's selfish what, what exactly would have changed if no one knew her name what do you mean so if she was if she what would have changed, changed for she took a back seat. What, what's changed for people knowing her name women it, what do you they mean they have someone to look up to what what um, we didn't have women to look up to before we have men to look up to no i'm saying women never had so what you're saying when women watch this, before before Michelle Obama, we, women never had an active woman to look up to. Yes, but to see the president, You just wife, said that. They never had no one to look up to. I said they would have someone else to look up to. We had women to look up to before then, but to see the president's wife, so... And what did she do? ...was a positive thing But what did she women. do at the forefront? But what did she do? Support... She, she, I don't she, she didn't assume the role No, no, I want to know what I she did. I feel like she was just supporting him in the limelight instead of supporting because him you don't know what's going behind the scenes. No, because no, because before you start talking about she did this and did that, I want to know her relevancy because I said she emasculated him and I said the optics. But I want to know she supported him. She could have done it from behind. What did she do at the forefront? I want to know. She just... I feel like she just showed a powerful woman to, to us. She just showed what a powerful woman does and how she... And what does a powerful woman do? She was there at the forefront supporting. She wasn't taking a back seat. She was joining in. She was active in her role. It would be like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. She's very active. She's at the forefront with him as well. She doesn't just I, sit behind closed doors. She gets involved in I, all the work with him. Are she, you going to... Are you going to... So you, you're going to... Harry and Meghan Markle, is that... What? That's like one of the worst examples you can ever use. No, I'm Meghan Markle is probably one of the I'm worst... Saying, what I'm saying Meghan is, Markle is probably one of the worst what examples I'm saying you can use. Nice. That, is that, is the, that is one of the biggest... It must... What? How is it? Wait, wait, wait. How what? is it a bad example? What, Meghan Markle? What? Yeah, go on. Tell me how it's a bad what example. What do you mean, man? <laughs> go ahead. Why and is she one of the worst examples? <laughs> what do you mean? She one of the worst. Go, what, go what, further into what, that. Say what, how it's a bad what, example. What has Meghan Markle done? Sorry, I don't understand. Stood up to the racist royal family. I feel like that's a really positive thing. I don't think that's a bad example. Did she stand up to them? What did she do? Well, they've obviously left the monarchy now. You know, they have, she she never stayed in the monarchy and put up with racism from. The royal family I don't, from her husband's family. I don't, she, 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 she made a change. She made change? a difference. She, you know, left with her husband and protected their children what from change? racism within the, the royal family. So that's positive in my eyes. Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle's playing, playing that whole race thing, man. I, I don't really, I don't really mess, mess with Meghan Markle because she doesn't, she now she'll be identified black, but she's not the black experience for her whole life. The people she's dated, the crowd she's kept, she hasn't, before this moment, she's not been calling herself black. So why am I now going to start? You knew exactly what you was doing when you was going into the royal family. Everyone knows what you do when you go into the royal family. Of course they're racist. The whole institution was built on racism and colonialism. So that's just stupid. Yeah, but she didn't just accept it, did she? She didn't take Except it what? You shouldn't. You can't go into something that you know is colonial, institutionally you, racist. But, so you, how did we free slaves? What are you talking about? What do you, how did we free slaves? We had to fight against colonialism and fucking everyone you don't, enslaving you, you people. You don't marry into colonialism. That's crazy. Well, if technically we do now, if you care about mixed race relationships, but you said, uh, why would you fight something that you know is a established I don't, premise? I don't have because a because you want to fight I, it. I, 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 I don't have a mixed race child, so I, that's irrelevant. No, but it's not irrelevant because you're talking about. I said we don't marry into colonialism, so that includes me. I don't marry into colonialism. Who's we? You, but, you're talking about you. But we, but you talk so. Okay, she married into colonial family, then you don't get to cry racism afterwards. If you go if you go into a family that has historic racism, you don't get to cry after about it's racist. So if I want if I wanted to uh, get into a relationship with a white man now yeah. and his family was racist to me, I I'm I'm not entitled to No, you're not, you're full. Why did you go there for? What? Imagine this. You knew the family was racist. Then they went there and they were racist to you. And now you want to cry. Oh, my God. You should. I'll uh, agree with you on one that's thing. That's crazy. You want, the, you want the sympathy complaining, for what? The complaining about it. No. But the fact that you can fight it 
Fight what? You, do you know how you fight it? You fight it. You fight it by being with a black person. That's how you fight it. You don't no, try. I to... Don't. What do you mean? What you want to? You want to go? A black woman going what? to the royal. Hold family. on a second. No, hold on a second. You don't go into the royal family and then start crying that they it's racist and institutional. I agreed. Because it's an institution. But Listen. You can fight they turn, it. They turn. They turn by. Me marrying pack. a black person doesn't. I'm not saying I'm marrying no, a white I'm saying, woman as a, I'm as a saying, contrast. I, I'm talking marrying about what she's saying. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. If I go marry an Asian, if I go and start dating an Asian girl and her family's racist, yeah. I'm not going to yes, start crying sense, about yes. it. What would yeah, you do? Don't cry, but you can fight it. Fight what? Bro, what, what are you would fighting? you do? Otherwise, what, yes. would you do? what are you going to do to the family? To the family? What are you going to do? Take this is not Romeo family. and Juliet. No, this but is if not, not, a... if not, then how are we supposed to move forward and change and, and have different racial relationships if we're just going to keep going like, what? your answer was, I would just go, I no, wouldn't, we're, I wouldn't, we're I would not, choose we're not, a black person, not, a black not, partner. We're not. So you're just supposed to, we're not supposed to, we're just supposed to be with Well, you don't own. cry about it. You get with a person and if their family's racist and that's, you, you, you don't leave the family. Cry. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. So what they don't cry. I don't want to hear you crying about the other side. I don't want to hear that. So she moved away, protected her family. But what I'm saying is, is, the rest is media. What are we supposed to do then? Because in your eyes, from what I'm getting from you, is that you're not supposed to do it. Like you says, your personal opinion is you would get with a, you would you would only be with a black woman. Why would I get with a white woman and cry if they found racist? I'm not racist? talking about the crying. No, I'm, but I'm saying, saying if well, we don't if we don't get into these yeah, relationships, no one's arguing with you on crying. Stay, no, but I'm confused. I'm confused about this. Yeah, you have to understand something. It's only black people that argue like this. You know that other races don't argue about like. There's no race loyalty in black people. You can love whoever you want, but right now you're arguing for your right to date and why to date white people, other people, that's fine. But you're arguing, why won't they family understand me? No Listen, one's arguing that. Like, no, but I'm saying... No one has argued No, but I'm saying Meghan Markle was crying because they were racist, but she married into institutional racism and think that's colonial. Let me go into another thing. The MBE, all these types of other stuff, the peerages. Sir, whenever I see black people... Anyway, first of all, no one from African descent and Caribbean should be accepting the MBE, the member of the British Empire. That's a colonial award. Like, I will never accept something like that, yeah? So if you accept that, yeah, I don't want to hear you then start screaming about, oh, you know what, um, there's racist problems in this country because you've got to accept something that says, no, there's no racist problems in this country. You've actually accepted something that silences your mouth. So my thing is this. If she really believes the royal family's racist, yeah, then, bruv, why did you go and marry? You always knew they were, that's, they've never changed. In actual fact, so people saying they, you know... Like, fundamentally different perspectives. If I was awarded anything like that, I would take it to show that, like, no, you, I've accomplished something. You haven't accomplished nothing. Well, it says, member of the British Empire. To. Do you know what that is? That's, but your ancestors are crying, bro. That's very disrespectful. I will never take that. I would use that as a moment to speak you on just what... keep fighting. No, 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 no. Black, oh. black communities and white It's not about you, what, you want acceptance, yeah? No, I'm why not, don't... No, it's not acceptance. Member of the British Empire, that, do, you, do you know what that used to represent? And this is the problem. I want to use it as a moment to educate. You want to use it as a moment to, to be like, oh my God, I'm accepted. You know, you're not accepted to nothing. Could We're you, still fighting for things every single... I haven't said the word No, accepted. but I'm saying, even no, no black person should be accepting that award. Do you understand? You shouldn't be accepting it. Because of and your own personal opinion. It's not, a, it's not my own personal opinion. It's not separate. We're the because same. Of, I get what you're saying. Because we're not separate. Really... We're the same. We're still fighting battles and you're out there taking awards from them and then we're still battling them. Come on, it's, it, and this is what I'm trying to say. You need to be strong. You need to have conviction. And a lot of men in this thing don't have conviction. They don't. They don't. But by they that don't. logic, we shouldn't even be living in the UK. No, it's not by that logic. No, it's not. No, it's not. Why are we accepting living in no, another country? No, no. See, what you've done is, what you've done is, you've gone and taken something that we've earned and something that you worked to swap it for something that is the well, member of the... earn an MBE and an OBE? Bruv, the member of the British Empire. Have you seen some of the pictures of what, the pictures on the, on, on the awards? You need to go have a look. This thing is not... I'm not saying to you that, why have so many people rejected it? Shout out to Skepta. Why did Skepta reject it? Yeah, for the reasons you're talking about. Exactly. What did so, he gain from that? What do you mean? What did he gain from it? The, you're talking respect about him on the you're black community. I oh, understand. oh, and that's the thing. You want respect from the white community. Look how you said Who? it. Look how you said it. Oh, respect from the black community, and that's disgusting. What do you I'm mean? Not trying to get respect He's an African. From no, 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 no. You just said oh, respect Put from the black community. Put more words in my mouth. Please. You Go said ahead. it. You said it. I no, said I don't. What, what are you talking about? What did you you're say? Saying, you say you're acting like I'm disgusted against the black community. No, but why would you say that? Of course, I want respect that's from that. That's, a, that's that's amazing. I want respect from the black. Of course, I do. One hundred percent. I, I do. want respect from people. I don't give a fuck what you look like. No, see, and this is the difference. And this is the difference. Yes, I want well, respect. Want from, respect? From no, people. I want respect from people. But you're doing that thing. Oh, that all lives matter thing, man. Just I, I'm apologetically black because I get the black experience. You're acting like you don't. Bro, you're still icy free. You will still get the same treatment that I get, bro. Feds will still pull you up. You will, it's the same thing. The only difference you will get is that is that is that colorism thing that we have within our community. You get the same treatment as me, bro. 
Yeah, what are you talking about? I'm I haven't just saying. Argued that. I'm not saying, but I'm saying when the you're language. You're arguing like I love white people. No, but the language you're using, this is why I'm educated. What language? I'm, this is why I'm educated by the MBE. This is why you can't take it because you're like me, bruv. I don't care. It doesn't matter your up. It doesn't matter I don't your genetic mix. You, when I look at you, bro, the feds, we get. Trust me, they're going to. Armed police will do you like they'll do me, bro. There's no different. The only difference you will get is within our community. And, and that comes from the slavery mindset about light skin and dark skin and the house nigga and the slave nigga and all the types of things. That's within our community. But from the world, bro, when you pull up in that white girl's house, bro, trust me what the parents see. They see me. I get what I you mean. I, I understand what you're saying, but it's just, I don't even know where you're getting that from. I haven't said anything about that. I've said the, the fact that I would accept that would be an accomplishment, not because it's from white people, not be, it's because of what I've done. And yeah, yeah I, like... I know, like, everyone always wants to talk about, oh, slavery was this, slavery was that. I understand slavery was horrible, bro. But how much longer do you want to keep talking about it? Uh, uh, until, until... Because every race on this planet was enslaved at one point. And, 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 there, and there you've gone and done it. And there you've gone and done it. So how and long are we going to And you've gone and done about? what every, every it's white... It's a victim no, mindset. I'm not a victim, bro. Then why are see, you talking about slavery? See, slavery see, is victimized. What you've gone and done... No, and, and now you prove to me. Let's be powerful. No, now you... I am powerful. No, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh I am God. powerful. I can't, I can't I accept this award because other I, people might see me as bro, weak and it was colonial. Like, fuck that. Other people, Live your fucking life. Other people, my ancestors, what are you talking about? And you just proved to me. You just proved to me. You proved to me. You were trying to talk all that black stuff and... Let a man talk long enough, you expose yourself. You're letting me know, bro. You're letting me know exactly. What have I let you know? You're just letting me know exactly who you're pandering yeah, to. Yeah, go to actually white... explain what you're saying. Bro, what have what I let you, mean, you know? Bro? You're letting me know you're pandering to white people, bro. You're letting how me know who you're septing. Yeah, Cause how? Because when, when I spoke about it, I just told you. I just you told you. You said I'm pandering you. to white people. I just how? told you. You're doing it in the, your language. You're doing it. It's quite because embarrassing. I... In what Cause, language? Because what's going to happen is, when this goes out, you won't see it now. You won't see it now because you're in it. But when this goes out, they're going to look at this. They're going to be like, right. China's come here and he's tried to educate him on reasons of why black people need to do certain things for our community. And when all... did I not say no, that? No, 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 bro. Your whole language, the fact that we're doing this. I'll... This this feels like I'm, I'm, this is the type of conversation that I would have with my white brothers. And at the end of it, like, but I'm doing it to him because he's not educated. And I'm going to educate him on some of the things. Feel... And it... Wait, hold on a second. Sorry. But the conversation. But I know I... what you're saying. No, 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 no. I haven't misunderstood it's... anything. I no, it's fine. Opinion. It's fine. It's fine. You can have a different opinion, but the problem. Thank you so much. No, bro, you can have the opinion. It's not. This is the whole idea. But this is about education. This is not just about you. But you haven't this... taught me anything. No, no, because you're not listening. So this is for other people watching now. Because you don't want to listen. Because you want to keep talking. I've listened and disagreed. No, bro, listen. You don't have to just. This is for other people. This education, Go and ahead. the reason why we can't take these awards, and I'm trying to explain it to you. You don't have to listen. Yeah, but that's you have... your reason. No, no, no. It's not my reason. It's not my reason. Who is it? Everyone's. Everyone has to have the same reason. Bro, see, and this is the thing. This see, is the thing. You see, just completely. There's multiple. Re actually no, there's multiple argument. reasons why a black person should not be taking the MBE. I've given you a couple of them, and I disagree with them. I, and that's fine. But that cool. shows. No, um, no, no. But that shows your what? lack of blackness. Okay. Brilliant. And black is not a. And this is. Uh, and black is that's not a monolith, exactly the racism that's your, that's your, that I get more than. I've had more racism bro, from black people than bro, white people. Bro. How can you have racism for me when you're just announcing me? I should be, I should be like I you, denounce, what are you talking about? I you, you? you have been advocating for your, the reason why, or the reason why you need to do stuff that involve white people when I haven't said anything. I didn't say do stuff involve white people. Oh, you I say do whatever the fuck you want. If white people are involved, who cares? I'm not disputing that. But I'm saying, why are you not having that same energy for your black people? I'm confused. What energy have I not given to black people oh, that I've given to white people? He's whole... just saying that if he worked so hard to earn an MBE or OBE, he would take it. Yeah. He wouldn't not take it. Yeah, you understand fine. the reasoning behind it that you wouldn't because of obviously. But it's not just me. There's a reason. And there's the, yeah, there's a general. The, the there's a general. There's a general. So he, one of the reasons why black people don't. Black people. Uh, one of the reasons why black people don't progress is because we never stick to one thing. We're very divided. Even here, you don't even understand the significance of by you taking that the problems it causes. You don't understand it, and so when people don't take it, everyone rates them because they know how hard that is to do. And 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 because they've been strong and sort of yes, what they yeah, really believe yeah. In. You sell out, and that's why they call people a sellout. It's very hard to do. Even this conversation now is very hard to do, right? But guess what? The things I say on these platforms, I don't. I get money from so many different ways. I don't rely on other stuff. I say whatever I want. Like I'm not. I'm not held by the parameters a lot of other people are held by. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not trying to wait, hold on. I'm not trying to get brand endorsements by other people, right? So when I'm over here, I'm like, hold on a second. We're supposed to be conscious, consciously speaking. I'm not saying you can't take it, but I'm saying you can't then take it and then come over here trying to march and speak about black issues because the what the thing that you've taken 
contradicts what we're trying to do. So it makes it a lot harder for people to take you seriously when you've gone and taken something from someone that you're calling colonial and slave. When someone dies or when someone gets shot, everyone's marching, but then the same people are the ones taking their MBE. Why don't you go with your MBE to the people that gave it to you and say, oh, you know what? Why are you killing my brothers for? But guess what? It silences you. That's why when Wiley was talking, they took it away. It's nothing. It's nothing if they can take... Something that they can take away means nothing other than what they make you think it believes. Because why? They took it away from him. Can't mean nothing, can it? Because he spoke up. So this thing that you think you're taking, it doesn't do anything other than silence you. Then once you start speaking, they say, oh, hold on a second, and they take it away. So how can we ever, ever move forward if we're still doing things that hold us back? That's all I'm saying. But then there would be a divide forever. It's not a divide. See, this is the thing, right? It's not a divide. Wait, wait. So at what point yeah. is there any situation where a white person gives an award to a black person and they can accept it? Loads. The Brits. You see the brothers picking up the Brits all day long. What do you mean? Because country music awards, we pick it all day long. Like, it's not a problem. This is not about an award. This is about something that I represents something si different. Repre this is not about Empire, white people giving is... black people stuff. Are you crazy? I love... Come on, like... Uh, well, I, get, I understand what you're saying. That's, that represents the British Empire, which is obviously, if you, if you look into it and the histories and the pictures and what it means, then obviously... I, would, I, I used to think that it did something when you got it. Then people got it and then, they'll, and then they couldn't do anything. So I'm like... What's the point of getting it if you can't do anything with it? Yeah, you, you haven't got no power. You haven't you got, got no power. It just becomes a thing where they've given it to you and you're like, oh, like, I'm, but what have you really done? I, I'm so confused. So my thing is this. It's better to use it as a moment to be like, you know what? I'm not going to take it. But the reason I'm not going to take it is for this reason. This many black people have died. Oh, this is what's going on in poverty and the thing. Oh, Grenfell Tower. They still... One of the guys recently rejected he was talking about Grenfell Tower. As in, it's like, this is the moment to go and to make a speech and to talk about historic things that we're fighting. And instead, you want to take it and smile and come on, that's it. And now we can't speak. So then what are we really doing? And we need to have... We have a job as content creators and people on podcasts to actually speak about real issues. It's time to start speaking up. And stop hiding behind, like, like political correctness. Like, seriously, they'll be shutting man down for a lot of the things we speak, but I put a lot of stuff on the, on the line when I speak like this. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say yeah. to you? I speak with conviction, so what's the point if we're not going to speak about... And, and that's the thing, it's not a white and black issue. No, of course not. That's dumb. Like, like but it's about... You cannot moan about the establishment. It's back to Meghan Markle, remember? Yeah. This goes back to Meghan Markle, where I say... And a woman leading the man and trying to be assumed the front is... She's there saying that the royal family or all of these things, yeah, cool, but everyone would have known they were like this. Look at the things they were saying about Diana before. Yeah, she chose to you, enter into that relationship. To enter in that, and then after you enter in it, it's gone bad, now you want to cry and scream, woe is me. I don't believe in that, trust me. You, I'm all about accountability, all about accountability for men and for women. And if you, hundred percent, <laughs> and people want to live in. We live in a world where they've told you you can do whatever you want, you can be wherever you want. Yes, you can to some degree, but that does not resolve you from accountability and responsibility. And this is the bit where people get messed up. Yeah. That's it. So the only reason, wait, let me wait long enough so you feel like I've listened to you. Someone else. No, nah, I feel like you're listening. The only reason I disagree is because you think that by accepting that, that silences you. And maybe it does because people of your own race would be like, okay, cool, you've taken that, you clearly don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. But this is what I would do. I would, ex I stay wherever the fuck I want all the time. Mm -hmm. I would take your award, put me on your wall with the white people, not because I'm proud to be with white people, but because look, I'm black and I'm in there. No, there's nothing wrong with... Shh. No, there's nothing wrong. Shh. I was going to say, me, there's nothing wrong with the white people. Let him land, I know. let him yeah. land. I know. So put me on the wall. Yeah. Put me in your establishment. I'm not proud because I'm in your establishment. I'm proud because of the work I've done. The fact that you gave me an award, doesn't, it's inconsequential. Take it back, throw it, fucking give it to a homeless guy. Don't you think I don't the more people that accept it and get their faces out there? And I then... want the award because of what I've done. And when I have it and I'm on stage, I'm going to say whatever I want. That's it. The fact that I've rejected then you'll it Then you lose the nothing. award. I don't give a fuck about the award. The award doesn't matter. Nothing makes me. Money doesn't make me, I make money. Same thing. But then, but then it will be... If you're only going to do that, then you could still use the opportunity to be like, I renounce I will. the award. You don't have to take it just to renounce the award. You could just renounce it and use the opportunity. But I'm going to take... You're, you're talking about faces on the wall. Once again, it's that thing. You're just happy. What's a face on the wall? This is that thing. Do you want to Yeah, be... that doesn't mean anything. But what I'm saying is to have your face out there and show, look, if, if every single black person was to reject the award... And that would show would, a lot uh, more. And then it would just be 
all white faces yeah. on there. So then what, what's going to change? Then it's just going to be all. It's never going to. Do you know what I mean? It's no, never I, would, gonna, I would rather. I'm still every, asking you what has it changed. I'm still asking you what has it changed. You haven't told me. But by rejecting it, what have you? What have you going to change? And this is the thing. And this is the thing. You're going to stand up for what you believe in. You're going to lead with your heart. And I respect anyone that does that. But what are you going to change? Hold on a second. You're going to reject it. You're going to talk about Grenfell Fire. You're going to talk about the fact that people. Yeah, but what is going to change? That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Talk about that. But is that are the issues going to change? Change. No, but that's how issues change. They don't change by you taking a picture and taking an award and then smiling and going back to your, but your you're, cushy you're house. giving the complete opposite argument. You can take the award and say whatever the fuck no, you want. No, but you can't, would... though. You yes, can't. you can. Oh, my God. They just, took a, they just took away Wiley's award. The what award doesn't about? matter. No, but Words it does. The bro. award doesn't but it matter. Does, you don't though. get it. You, you still just... have the opportunity but regardless of what happens. How? If the award doesn't matter, then why does it matter if you're Hold on a it? second. If they took away Wiley's award, what the, that means you cannot speak freely. You just ex- yes, you-, you can. How can you? Because he, he took an award, not his life. Hold on a second. He's been really, completely de- he's he's been now. completely deplatformed from all platforms. Are you joking? Why has been cancelled? Are you joking? Are you joking? You cannot yeah, speak I've freely. I've listened to my guys' music since I was eleven. Come so on, know. come on, guys. You're capping. I'll, I'll everyone take, knows. I'll take your word for it, but I don't bro, know. Bro, that means you're not tapped into the culture because everyone knows that Wiley's currently cancelled. Yeah. Yeah, while he's cancelled, bro. You don't understand what this has cost him. Like, you cannot speak freely after you take that award. You guys just want to get your pictures on the wall and smile to be the happy guy. Bro, well, seriously, man. So who, who's them? No, because I'm talking about... any. You said, oh, you can get your picture on there. How are we going to make a change? But I'm asking you, what change have you made? I'm telling you to reject it and to say, speak about Grenfell Tower. Speak about the fact that people still aren't home. You don't want to do that. You want to take the no, word... we sm- would openly speak about it, but how is, that, how, are we gonna, how is it going to change? Because there's people that are doing that, rejecting the award and speaking about it, but their, their opinions aren't changing anything that's yeah do you happening. know why do you know why because, because all the other enough people doing it because all the other black people ain't so it doesn't matter does it Un- united united what was it yeah. there you go divided before man so i'm saying to you we have to stand together and my thing is this and this is why we will never ever as a community do well because right now we're arguing about awards taking a little badge and i keep asking you what does the badge do and it doesn't do anything other than how it makes you feel and and some more internal hierarchy stuff, but nothing really on the ground level, yeah? In actual fact, it probably, it stops you from speaking about certain things in a certain way because you're in that circle, member of the British Empire, yeah? So you have to understand, it's like, I would understand if it did something, but there's lots of people that have it and it doesn't do anything. And you're looking at them and like, do something for us. And then that's when you realise, actually, it doesn't do anything other than it serves the individual. And I ask you, when you speak, what happens next then? What do you mean? Like when you s- reject the word and speak your mind. Yeah. What happens then? What do you mean? What yeah, happens next? Yeah, you draw attention to it. How do you draw attention to By it? By speaking about it and rejecting the word. Well, what happens next? I think it's the next. The next person does it as well. And the next person does it as well. And the next person does How do you spark a revolution? How do you create a change? By one independent action that sparks another person. You don't create a change by speaking. You create a change by changing, by action. Yeah. And I just told you an really action good. is rejecting it. And actually, actually rejecting it. it and speaking. Yes, at the same time, yes. So why could you not accept it and speak? Because by accepting the... Bro, I don't understand that. I, you're conscious, you cannot take money with one hand, then criticise the person you take money with. I don't understand yeah, what's wrong. No, can't. you can't. Because now, now, now you don't have integrity. Now you don't. And I have integrity. I cannot take an award from you, then after I take the award, be like, oh, F you and your dumb award. Bro, you're a snake. What? But if that's you, a snake move. If bro. you hate the establishment, that would be the best thing. No, you No, it wouldn't. Do. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. It would be the dumbest move. Listen, it, if there's a racist no. white family, the first you're not thing I want to do, do is fuck you're their daughter. You're not going to do that. No, you're not going to. That's, that's, that's the first thing I want to fucking do. Because you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. Fuck your white daughter. You're going to get in the house. I'm still going to get her pregnant, and you're going to have black kids. You're going to get in the house. You're going to get in the house. You are going to reject the white girl and go fuck a black girl, which is awesome. I'm not saying that's bad, but I'm going to fuck you up and win. I'm going to do both. You want to win by yourself. I like. I want black people to be strong. We should do more together. But yeah, that doesn't mean you have to push everyone else away. What do you mean? Even what? Malcolm X eventually got to that bit. You he wanted black communities to be strong, Whoa. and then he realized white people could be Whoa. allies as well when Whoa. he went to Mecca. Of course they can be allies. I'm just not taking a member of the British Empire. I'm African. That's a disgrace. My ancestors would be weeping. I would never ever take that award. I, I I don't speak on Asian people because I'm not Asian. I speak on black people and Caribbean stuff because that's what we come from. Yes. So, so no one of black, no one of African descent should be taking that award. And if you do, your ancestors are weeping. And if you don't understand why, go pick up a book, I go look at some why. history. Different, and so different when you do it, so then it's cool. So you do it. And the worst thing is you understand why. 
So someone that doesn't but I have a different no, perspective no, but, on it. Like someone like Marcus Rashford, he doesn't have the level of consciousness. It's fine. Do you I don't give me? a fuck about Marcus. No, no, Rashford, but I'm, I'm giving an example. He doesn't have the level of consciousness to understand, so it's fine. But he's doing you, a lot of good. No, no, but I'm saying he's doing a lot of good, but he doesn't have the level of consciousness to understand the world, okay. right? He didn't grow up like that. You just told me you understand and you'll still take it. See, For a different reason. No, it's no different reason. It's all the same. It's completely it's different same. reasons. You're saying, you're saying reject it, speak up for the black community. Awesome. I'm saying accept it, speak up for the black community. But you're, not, but you're somehow seeing... No, because the, you can't so You're speak actually up. seeing the award as more important than I am. No, I don't give a fuck about the award. Because you can't you speak it, up. You think it actually means something. You can't speak up. It doesn't though, mean anything to but me. you can't speak up. I've already done the work that got me the award. Bro, I'm just saying to you, the whole idea is this, that when you get the award, it stops you from being as vocal about certain issues because now you're the member of the British Empire. And if you speak up about certain things, you put your award at risk and other things. And it's been proven, it's been so, shown. Okay, That's this it. Is, hopefully this is a similar situation. Would you say it would be more powerful then for a black person to reject the presidency than take it? What do you mean the presidency? Barack Obama, for example. If you had said, you know what, fuck this, I'm not being a president, I'm just going to lead the black community. Do you think that would have made much? No, what would have been more powerful if he didn't have his wife trying to take the lead role? That's irrelevant. Don't no, talk about no, it. No, no, no. That's, that's separate. That's no, separate. That's no, a separate no, issue. Something else. We, we want to talk, <laughs> the same topic is accepting yeah. something that maybe is typically white and a black person, fuck, fuck the, all the history. Mm. Do you think it would have been more powerful for Obama to be like, you know what, fuck this, I'm just going to lead the black community? No, it was more powerful for Obama to become a black president. So... I, I'm not seeing, for me, the way I see that in parallel is that I would accept something that they would have to give me, the, despite the fact that they used to hate me, mm. and they would have to, I would look in them in the eye, shake their hand, they would have to enjoy that moment, mm -hmm. and I would love that moment. The difference and with I the would MBA speak is, about everything. The different MBA is you don't the have history. No, you don't. Uh, well, history. No, there's yes, yeah, there's there's probably there's history in in presidency and slavery, so that's not really is. The difference with the MBA is you don't have any power. So if you did, and this is the thing. But then renouncing it makes no difference. No, no, because you don't have any power, so taking it doesn't do it. It makes it even worse because you're taking something that's actually just a symbolic nothing. It's nothing. It doesn't mean anything. It's if you had power with it, I'm telling you, to, this is what I'm saying. I thought it meant something. I was like, but it doesn't. So why are you taking it? Because in actual fact, it hinders you from speaking about the issues that you did. If it didn't, I'm telling you to take it. I'm not saying to you not to take it. I see what you're if, saying. If, I, you're, yeah. if you become a sir, and I don't know what that can do, but if that can do some stuff, take it. But if it can't do anything, then why are we no, taking it for? Take it. Do you get me? Because I agree with that. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you can't become a president. I'm not, bro, if you can become prime minister, we got Richie Sunak, but then the Asians come in. I'm like, bro, get in. But then I hate when we get in, and what do we do when we get in? Okay. I Look at that guy, Kwasi Kwarta, whatever his name, Kwarta, whatever his name. The, like, Chancellor, whatever, like we just get in and we do our people dirty. So my thing is this: if you're gonna get in, get in and make a change. And that's why so many people are disappointed with Barack Obama because we all believed it was gonna change. We all believed something. We all were. So many people were galvanized, like for the first time ever, a black president. Like, trust me, I don't know if you remember the time or how you felt. You know what I mean? I don't know if you was too young. So I'm saying to you, but it was, <laughs> <laughs> but. It's literally that thing. And I just want to see, when I see my people there represent, I just want them to talk about stuff because we're still fighting so many things. Shout out to Chris Cabber, man. Like, like you know Chris Cabber got, you know, in, in, in South London, man. Get me, got, get me. He got deleted by the police and they're still fighting that case now. Um, shout out to his cousin Jefferson. Still fighting that. And it's like, we have so many things that we're fighting, but then the man them just recently went and took some more MBEs. And it's like, you men are rappers taking MBEs, but some other people in your area still... I think I, I agree with most of what you're saying, having understood that final bit. But I still think, regardless of what it does, take it, get the letters off your name, and then say whatever the fuck you want. If the media can delete you, they can do it regardless. Like I just think, just remember, let people know that it comes at a cost. Everything comes at a cost. I'm That's it. Say, I'm but I'm just saying, price. like, it's not like true free speech, because... Like, what my man said, it comes at a cost. So my thing is this. I'm not saying... I just... I just don't know what... I just looked at enough people that have taken it and I used to be like, okay, cool, yeah. I mean, and someone explained it to me. And my dad explained it to me. And people, and look, my dad even prescribes probably a little bit to do how you think, even though you shouldn't be, because, you know, you can... But I'm just like... Because I keep seeing people's hands being tied. Like, and I'm like, if you give it to me, then something bad happens. What happens if I speak out now? Are they going to yeah. tell me, oh, oh, easy. Remember, like, you know, 
your membership. But then they just take it away now. Yeah, and it, but then it's like you're, then yeah. it becomes worse because you now you're kicked out. Not even worse than being kicked out of a club, bro. Yeah, but it's it's a, the colonial club. Who gives a fuck? But if you cared about it in the first place, I cared because I wanted to fuck them up, not because I wanted me? to be a part. You know of what them. I mean? So and, and it comes back to this. Not it, it doesn't even come back to the NBE. It goes back to Meghan Markle. The fact that she was crying. When, I agree with you. Yeah, though. like it's she, just gone yeah. completely but left. She, she's doing that for money and media. Yeah, like she should have yeah, just been she's, like, she's "You're gonna get black kids." Off the back of that. Look, look, well, I'm pretty look, man, them, t- like... man, them, take whatever can get you out the hood, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like we've gone completely off topic, but that was really important conversation, and I feel like it was great that we actually had that. <laughs> but going back to where we was, <laughs> Megan Markle has sparked. <laughs> Big <peace>. outrage. This, <laughs> Megan, I feel like, I feel like I'm on see Pierce what you've Morgan. done, girl. <laughs> <laughs> right, like... <laughs> so, going back on topic, do you think that mental health, men's mental health can affect the type of relationship that they have with a woman? Yeah. If it's not controlled, then yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Do you believe so? 100%. 100%. So, we've gotten lots of, you know, stats uh, and figures that men that suffer with mental health are more likely to be abusive to their women. Um... What's your guys' views on that? I Kingsley, just... I want to hear from you. I feel like you haven't... <laughs> I'm just listening. I'm just listening. The voice I'm of listening. God I like listening to history. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, when it comes to that one, I think um, with that uh, in relationship, um, when it comes to mental health within guys in relationship, for me personally, I would say um, parental upbringing is very important in terms of if you in that situation whereby your family, for for example, your dad and your mom, mm. kind of quarrel all the time, kind of fighting, mm. you as a child, when you grow up and you're watching them, you apply that knowledge yeah. or that mm. sense you see towards your relationship. And that kind of affects the girl you're with and they can kind of see you as a abusive partner. Mm. So I think parental upbringing can also lead to that line of being abused or being you know um yeah absolutely i get what you're trying to say yeah your childhood and what you see growing up can have an effect on all your future relationships going forward um so at what point would you guys say for a woman to leave them because your view in the beginning was that women don't care about men's mental health but if you're in a relationship with a man that's got mental health and they're abusing you how long is too long to stay? So, like, I'm speaking from personal preference mm. here. So, uh, my children's father, the one that I went through the abusive relationship with and the domestic violence that I ended up going into the ref- women's refuge and all of that, he suffered with mental health. And I stood by him, I went to appointments with him. Mm. He went to, um, and this is not like he's openly spoke about this anyway, so I can share this on this podcast. But mm. he went to alcoholic counseling, like all of that. But he was just coming out, still drinking, still taking drugs, still being abusive to me, and then blaming it on his mental health. Oh, well, you know, I've got mental health, like. So at what point does a woman, like, your view is that women don't care about men's mental health, but mm-hmm. how can you stay? Like, if, if a man's got mental health and he's not using it as an excuse to abuse you, yeah, then, you know, but... <sighs> so I don't ever expect a woman to stay through abuse, so I just want to make that clear. Mm-hmm. I don't ever, I've never once condoned men abusing a woman staying through abuse. I think she should leave. But <clears throat> I do believe, like, you know... Depends what you prescribe to, you know, like, you know, for richer, for poor, for sickness and health, you know? Like, so it depends what you kind of prescribe to, right? So, and that's without the abuse. Yeah. So if we take out abuse out of that, yeah. and we just talk straight mental health, so let's talk about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, for example. There's no abuse there. Yeah. There's no abuse there. There's just mental health, right? That's your wife. You married, this is the man that you married when he was... When he was strong-minded and he was all together, you know, when he was billing, well, he was, he's a billionaire. When he was giving you shares to Yeezy, doing all these things you didn't mind, giving you all the kids. When he he took you on board, even though with your history, you know, you didn't mind that. You didn't mm. mind that because you saw the potential of what Kanye West was gonna be. Yeah, you married him. You took vows, and then when he starts getting sick, what do you do? You start saying, "Oh, you know what? I can't. I can't. I can't handle him." Kanye. No, that's you supposed. Now you're supposed to stick by your man. Mm. If he went in the wheelchair, you were supposed to stick by your man. Like, yeah. what? Like, where have we got to? Do you, do you get me? So yeah. as long as there's no abuse in there, mental health is part of 
It's, it's, and this is why I say women don't care about men's men. Women only care about your mental health on social media because it's cool to be like, oh yeah, men's mental health. But in reality, your girl, your ex-girl does not care about your mental health. Why? One of the things that women do out there is to is destroy men. Women are always destroying men. Women are always insulting men. They, they talk about misogyny. Against, the, the, the misogyny against men is, is, is rife. Women all the, How many things? You see it yourself. Women feel no way to, to say stuff about men. They don't care about our feelings. But then equally, if there was a woman that was suffering with mental health issues, are there a lot of guys in this generation that would stick by that woman if she was... Mm. Most guys women most women are suffering with mental health issues. Guys have no idea what the fuck they're doing. But not, most guys are morons. Bro, listen, every woman that you come to, oh, my trauma, my ex, my ex, how many girls say, oh, my... Every one of us is dealing with a woman that has mental issues because when you come in with trauma, and that's that. this is what we're dealing with. So... And, any girl that comes through to you says, oh, you know, I don't trust guys. Oh, you know, my ex did this and men cheat. Yeah, but there's a difference between having trust issues to having mental health Who's issues. Is there? Is there? Yeah. Because what does that... What does that... Yeah, but I'm no, talking about, like, actual but, diagno like, diagnosis of it mental depends health. What that's, mental that's health I know there's a lot of ladies that are running around here probably with mental health that are undiagnosed no, a lot of crazy most things. Most people are not diagnosed, right, for mental health, right? Most people are not are undiagnosed. So most people are undiagnosed. So most people are suffering and they don't know because... Who really is going to go there and have that checkout? It normally comes in when there's an intervention, like, as you know. Yeah. Like, most people not. But I, I, I still feel like trust issues are different, like... Why are they? A lady having trust issues trust that, issues say, for instance, has health. been cheated on multiple times and got into a relationship and doesn't trust the new partner is a very different to suffering with mental... I'm talking about depression where you can't get out of the bed, anxiety, panic attacks, like, that's mental health to me. Uh, but I don't that's really. But I think I think that's really. But how much does that represent in people? That's the type of mental health where you're not leaving your house. Like that's the deep mental health where where I don't think most mental health is like that. Well, I think most mental health is light and it's undiagnosed and it's underneath and it creeps in. But then is that actually mental health? Yes, it is because because mental health is not. It's or like is that just. It's like disability. It's trauma? disability something that you. Do you have to be in a wheelchair to be disabled? Of course not. So it's the same thing with mental health. Like, just because you don't see... So you see when they say a, a madman, or, you know, my man's mad, you know, he done a mad thing on the high road. People are like, bro, do you understand? That's mental health, but it's undiagnosed. So when a, so when a guy bla uh, blazes man on the high road or shanks man on the high road, do you realise, or on, in a broad, broad day in the mains, that's not healthy. You do realise, that's mad. But man are going to say... That's a mad guy. Oh, but my man's a bad man. No, my man's crazy. He just hasn't been diagnosed because anyone that would do that has to be crazy because you're not even looking at, 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 like, see, there has to be a level of, 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 of thinking and a little thinking, right? And anyone that would just do that, not care about cameras, not care about the, yeah. the ramifications is crazy yeah. because most people are going to think about, actually, this, that, that, and the third. So what I'm trying to say to you, that's mental health, but people won't see that. Yeah, but I'm glad that you said that because then going back to what I was talking about, as I know a lot of you agree with abuse, you made that very clear, but there are a lot of people that uh, are abusive that blame it on their mental health, but then those same guys would not go out into the street and beat up a man. So, so here's the thing. A lot, I think play on that I, I have as a, a, reason a fundamentally opposite view to you. I think men are just weak as fuck. Like, I get women are more masculine, if you want to use that word, but men are also weak as fuck. Yeah. Like, to be honest. I agree. I think it's fine to cry in front of a woman. I think it's fine to cry to your woman. But if you're in control, if it is managed, that's completely different. If, you, if you're crying... Can oh, you explain to me what that means? Yeah, so if, if I'm crying to, to my girlfriend, oh, I just lost my job, I don't know what I'm going to do, uh, I, I'm just going to fucking lie down and fucking eat, can you just like go and make me some food? And you do that for weeks, you're, you're a fucking bitch. I don't know what to tell you, bro. But if I cry, like the one time I have cried in, in front of the person who was my girlfriend at the time... Was Where's when, she now? Was, ...was when my son was in hospital. Where's she now? She's still my son's mom. Is she still your girlfriend? Yeah, but no, that doesn't. Did. Yeah, but that. She doesn't... didn't break up with me. That's that's irrelevant. That's it's not what we're irrelevant. About. It really is. I broke up with it her. Re it really is not irrelevant. Would... Tell me how. Because I said, because I said, don't cry to a girl, but any girl you cry to, you not end up being with, and you and and you're proving my point. But I broke up with her. Doesn't... so That's completely irrelevant. You broke up with your baby mama. Before she was my son's mom. Yeah. Uh, wait, I don't so... talk about my kids, but thank you very much. Uh... So the reason I'm saying this, I I cry because that's a serious situation to have your kid in hospital. Okay. Okay, and. 
that doesn't make me weak. No, I didn't say it does. It's a vulnerability, and it's okay to share that. No, the thing, the thing that's different that, between me, that, the thing that's that. different between me and you, is that for some reason you think that women are now going to view you as weak. If I said, okay, I think they if will. I, I know they will. I, I have it's, more it's experience fought. than most men with girls. Bro, listen, it's not, it's not they fought. You see, there's a lot of things that women do that I do not blame them for doing. I'm not blaming you. You don't even understand why. You know, do you know what you look like when you cry? Let me, bro, do you know what you look like when you cry, bro? <laughs> when you got snot dribbling down your face. <laughs> bro, bro, after she sees you like that, bro, it's never going to be the same. Bro, yeah, I the will, next time you get in an argument, in the next time you, bro, bend her over no, 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 no,
You want to cry. You want to watch just so she can make you feel better and hug you. You want a mother, man. That's what I'm saying. If a lot, a lot of these, a lot of you girls. This is what I'm saying. Do you, you need women, a hug. No, you, you women pick men like this. You pick men like this, and then you start crying later. You start crying. You start crying. But you pick men like this. You want the men to cry. Then they cry. Then you start crying. Jeez, does not cry. So have you ever had a relationship break up? Of course. But you never cried. What happened? What? What do you mean? What? <laughs> well, she didn't leave me because I cried. Yeah, I yeah, break cool. up with my son's mum because I cried. Fuck but it. listen, that's a retarded listen, fucking art. Listen, listen, that's, bro, a, that's bro, a, I'm making. I'm bro, showing you how retarded your bro. fucking points are. Why did you go out with a girl just to watch her cry, just for what, what she leave you? Showed her one of the most intimate, one of the most deep moments, just for her to leave you. Why did you do that? What was the worth of it? To make you feel good at the moment? Did you have a moment? Waste of time. I would never do that. So I break up with a girl. I don't matter. What does it matter? What does it matter? Just another girl. Exactly. Exactly. But you know, you cried. You cried. She's out there with a new boyfriend talking about So wait, about wait, wait, wait. Her. Okay. My okay. ex was crying let, to me. Let me say this. Let Do you know how much girls have told me about me man like this. you? That's hilarious. They... I cried once and we broke up. That's apparently the reason. No. You are apparently just a no. fucked up human no, 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 who doesn't no. cry no. but still can't it stay with a woman. Bro, no, it doesn't matter. No, that's not why you So broke what's your up. problem? No, Because apparently focused... mine is crying no, in front of all the girls I meet. Stop. You're focusing on breaking up. That's not what I'm focused on. But that's what that's no, the point that no, you made. That. I cried and we Whoa, broke up. Wait, hold on, remove that for a second. Okay, we okay. Remove brilliant. that for a second. All men cry. You yes, yes, all men. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are reducing to all men, but all men don't cry to their women like bitches, bro. You guys, like I said, so that's because you see it as being a bitch. Bro, it is being a bitch, bro. It's not masculine to cry to your woman. It's very feminine, very feminine. So you very. can't you can't do anything feminine Gosh. otherwise you're a pussy. What? Why do you? Why, as a man, are you trying to be feminine? Ask Did I say trying to be feminine? Words are important. You said, can I, I not do say... anything feminine? What, fem what feminine things do you want to do as a masculine man? Please do tell me. Let me hear it. Cook. That's not feminine. What is it? All men are supposed to be able to cook. Listen, what do, you, do you live at home with your mom? Clean. What do you live? Do, what do, all men are supposed to be able to cook? Is that not? Is that not? Hold on a minute. Not typically, a woman's. Role? If you go into the army, what do they teach you to do? What do they teach you to do to cook and to clean? Allow it, bro. That's a very masculine. It's called about self sufficiency. You want an award for able to do that? Let me clap. Go on, you're a man, bro. You're self sufficient. I, I what else? I didn't say it was. This is like when people tell me. This I is said like, it was feminine. You know what this is? is? It, wait, wait. Is cooking feminine or masculine? Bro, how is that cooking? Answer the question, please. Bro, feminine or masculine? It's not. It's not feminine. It's not feminine to cook. No. How can it be feminine if you, if you live, if the, if you're in the army, how are you gonna eat, bro? It's very masculine. Do you know why? Because men were the ones that went out there and, and went and hunted and cooked. What are you talking about? No, what are you talking didn't cook, about? The women cooked. Are you the right? men, are the you men right? brought the all food right. back. Okay, so, so so you were just wrong. Thank you very much. Hold on. Continue. So when the men would go out for three days into the woods yet yeah, to go, what you think they would starve? Were the women there? What are you talking about? Is it not the woman's role typically to cook? No, but I'm saying the men knew how to cook the meat, and when they were in the woods, they would go in and hunt for three days and come back. Were there women there? What did the men starve? Men are supposed. Men have always been providers of self-sufficient. What are you talking about? I'm talking about things that are more feminine than masculine. So, cooking is not feminine. Cooking okay, is a... you give me something that you think is no, feminine. No, you told me. You're the one advocating for femininity. I'm masculine out here. Yeah, but you're... <laughs> I don't know about you, man. <laughs> I've never had to call myself masculine you just, to be masculine. No, well, because... Yeah. You, no, but I've never had to call myself feminine and you just did. So, that's crazy. I'm still a man. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. No, but bro, you 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 really want to call yourself feminine versus calling bro, yourself masculine. I can be Why more feminine than you and I'll still be more of a man. But, do you not understand oh, that? Bro, that's bro, that's shaming language. That's what women say. Oh, be, remember, I'm more masculine. Remember when than you, you. Called, when, Remember when you said I was like white people? Is that not shaming language? No, that was being true, bro. No, I, no. <laughs> well, I'm being true as well. No, but no, but how can you? No, no, but no. How can you be more masculine? You just you just said that you're feminine, bro. Right. Come on, like let's not do I this. I didn't say let's I, not do I am my feminine. My balls are bigger than your balls. I said my, I could. Come be. on, let's not do that, bro. I get more testosterone than tents. you. I'm Listen blacker than tents. you. Do you want to do that? Come on, don't do that. You bro. did that. Don't, no, I just did that now because you wanted to do that. Well, you oh, said oh, at the beginning. Oh, look at me. I'm I'm, I'm the Melbourne model. Look at me. Don't do that, bro. Come on, come on. I said on. I could be. I didn't say I am. No, but bro, if you want to do that, no, no, tense is important. No, I said I could be more feminine. That's no, no, but. Why would you even, why are we doing this, blood? People that watch this, hey, listen, this is really good content for you, Alicia. You better cut this up. Because people that watch it can be like, you got one, listen, is this what's going on? I've come from, I've come You're from trying London. so no. hard to be masculine. Bro, you don't, I don't have to bro, try to be a man, I bro, just am. Bro, the fact that you feel that I'm trying so hard to be masculine lets me know everything about you. But you're, you no. literally do things because masculine, no, stay masculine. No, I don't. Masculine men recognize other, other man's masculinity. I don't say you're trying to be, but I know exactly what you are. The fact that you recognize my masculinity as trying. You don't understand this, and this is the problem. When real you know men, said it's when trying. real men read other real men, and actively do things. No, I don't actively. You this is you, me. You this, act, is not, this is not act. act. You, this is not an act. You think I've come from London to act, bro? This is me. Go look at all actively. my content. Actively, bro. This is me. Actively, this is words me. are important. Any you keep room, misrepresenting any room my words. That I'm, any room that I'm in, I say I stay the same. 
And I can listen. The fact is this: you no want to brought that up, but go no. Ahead. But I'm saying I'm not acting anything. I didn't I'm say you were acting. I said actively. Listen to the words, bro. You don't listen more than I do. Okay, let me listen. Sorry, what'd you say? I said you are actively <laughs> doing things that you believe will help you remain masculine. No, no like just... okay, for example, not crying to a woman. You believe that will help you remain masculine. True I... or false? Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, so you are actively doing something to remain masculine. I don't I, have to I'm, do I'm anything about to it, remain masculine. I'm not thinking about but it. you're not crying. Yeah, but you're actively doing it. No, I think subliminally. You but I'm telling, I'm, I'm telling other people to. Okay, wait. Don't do so, <laughs> but that means there's been situations where you thought you could cry, but you decide not to because you're in front of a woman. hundred percent. Yeah. So you actively try to be masculine. But no. Congratulations. I active, no, I just actively try not. Have to you be felt educated no, today? I just actively try not to be feminine. So try. <laughs> That's not the to same be thing. No, it's not. He's no, it's to not. Be no, it's not. You go in no, two directions: not. masculine, no, feminine. If no, you're trying to not be feminine, you're being masculine. No, I'm not because no because keeping keeping um. Keeping a steady ship and keeping calm is not trying to be anything. I always that, try to remain that is calm, just guys. Being, I apologise for this. That's just being, that's yeah, just being normal, right? Trying I'm not being trying to be that. If you were to cry to a female, you yeah. feel like that would make you feminine? It's, it's not going to exactly, you know, you know, make me start painting my nails or anything, but it's, it, it, might, it might be the start of it, yeah. See, you always go Absolutely to the most extreme not. retarded <laughs> argument to make a point. Absolutely not. What the fuck right. are you talking about? <laughs> Absolutely oh, not. <laughs> Anyway, I feel like I feel you've like... had failed relationships. I've never cried. 100%. I've had failed relationships, and I cried 100%. once. And somehow we're very, in the same very, position. Very no, but no, but here, no, but I've had girls tell me about their ex men crying on them and laughing about it. Whereas, whereas, no, <laughs> no girls ever had that that's about a me. Toxic female. Yeah, but most that's... women are toxic. So you need to speak to women. Don't you don't tell men why we pick toxic. Like when you pick toxic men. You pick toxic men. When we pick you, like to toxic feel. Lots of women are toxic. You have to start listening to men. Well, Men's mean, experience. Most of this generation are toxic, but what I'm saying it's not is... not this generation. The, the, the only, I don't think people are toxic. The only dark. way not that everyone. it will be used against you is if you was with in a relationship with someone toxic. If there wasn't, why would a female try and laugh about... Like, uh, by the way, you cry women to your woman better apt at helping you through emotional situations. Never. Women are it's natural. literally science. Go go, go, go argue with the researchers, bro. More than, more than you go in and cry into your no. what? Okay, you, you could right. go and cry to Do you your, have female friends? You could go and cry to your man, them friends, and then they could turn around and mm. laugh behind your back and say, oh, China was crying to oh, me. There's no difference. Bro. No, 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 friend, no female friends I can cry to, no. Because men and women can't be friends. You, you'd only cry, you... I literally have female friends. Do you? How many of you, how many of you beat? One of them. Oh, fucking hell. You just proved my point. Men and women can't Wait, wait, wait. How, co how come two people can argue <laughs> yeah. and not and remain friends, but yeah. you can't fuck someone and be friends? <laughs> bro, are you going to do that? Yeah, go ahead. Answer. Bro, because you know you can't. That's not an answer. <laughs> bro, make a point. Bro. Please make a point. Because <laughs> I've been inside of you and I've seen you naked and I've been blowing your back out and you've been sucking. Yes, that's why. No, no. We can't be friends. You want to tell me... Okay, let me... Your girl... Your girl keeps a friend that she should sleep with and you... Is that, are you alright with that? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. What? Because I'm not a pussy. But why are you trying to shame me for doing something? That... I didn't say you, I said I'm not a pussy. Okay. I, didn't, I, I okay. mentioned you. Okay, okay. That would make me a pussy because no, no, no. I would have a problem with that. Okay. Do you know why I would then, have a problem with that? You've put I yourself in that I category. Couldn't, I couldn't, I do agree with you here. I couldn't be okay with that. Are you a pussy if too? If I was in a real life, I couldn't be. I'm agreeing with you. No, I'm saying that makes you a pussy too. No, I'm saying I couldn't be okay with that. If I no, but that makes you a pussy too. By the way, for context, I only do open relationships. What? If oh, I got that's... into a relationship okay, with that's... a man... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not spending the rest of my life with one person. You must be fucking quick. If I got you don't have between... to. That doesn't mean she has to. But I don't... So here's the thing. I don't even give a fuck enough to care what she does. Okay. Well, that's different then. You're going to have, you know, like, it's different life. When you when you prescribe to that, it's completely different. You don't, you're not held within the realms of traditional relationships and the norms. If I was to get into so, a relationship with someone, there's no way that they could still yeah. be talking or friends yeah. with somebody so, that they've slept with. Talking to you is going to be different because we're not speaking about the same social constructs. Okay, I'll what go about to, I'll you? Go to Would you be happy with your girlfriend um, keeping a friend of a guy that she used to sleep with and saying that this is my friend? To me? No. no. Yeah. Most men, most masculine men, <laughs> Alpha male. So here, here's, let, here's me, a, let me drop. I know you like that. The let thing, me drop that. Alpha the thing male, is, I know you like there's that. a difference between <laughs> preference and insecurity. I'm not saying this in insecurity, but a preference is when you just. I prefer burgers to pizza. No, not pizzas to burgers for any particular reason. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But when you say something and it's only to do with the way other people or the other person might perceive you, then it's an insecurity. For example, the low body count thing. 
if you want a girl with a low body count because you think it's safer, yeah. it's cleaner, it's yeah. your religious preferences, none of those are insecurities. They've got nothing to do with other people. Yeah. But if you think she's comparing me to other guys, they might be better, she might be more likely to cheat. That is pure insecurity. Even if it is based in science, that's pure insecurity because you're literally worried about what other people might do. That is insecurity. I wouldn't say that. So comparison is a thief of joy. So it's like one of these things, yeah? Like you girls will say stuff like, Oh, you know, I want a man with a you know this or she'll make a complaint about, Oh yeah, he's you know, he he's he, his dick size wasn't big and there'll be stuff like, um, um, you know, he didn't know how to you know, you know how to use his tongue and oh he didn't you know what I mean, like oh he didn't he couldn't hit the spot. See, sex is very important to me. Whenever a woman speaks like that, it just lets me know she's been run through. Because because comparison is a thief of joy. Like sex has never been about. about I'm the best they ever had. Sex has never been about about about. It was always about the person and and, and you know what I mean. The connection. Yeah, the connection. Like it's been lost, right? Yeah, your girl's not supposed to be coming and doing the got got three thousand with a twist to the back. You're enjoying it, but you're like in the back of your mind, like God, God damn, where did you learn that? I can't wife you. So I'm saying you might wife that. Me personally, I'm like nah. I, w- I don't do marriage or wife, like I said. But you know, I'm, you know, I'm, okay, you might add it to your hair and my bitches. So I'm saying to your concubine, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. that's what he He's got the concubines. So, but it's like. You want to learn that with her. You, that's something that you want to learn together. You don't want you... Because then you're enjoying it. you be like, damn, how many dick shots start to learn that? A lot. Then some girls will say, oh, how do you know that she just didn't, wasn't with one guy for a long time? Stop capping, girls. You always say this, man. You sucked a lot of dicks, man. So I'm saying to you. But it's fine. But man don't think like this. Yeah, but it, that's literally... That's fine to think like that. I'm just letting you know that's an insecurity. Because you're literally it? worried about how she was with other no, people. No, it's not. But... I, I never worry if a girl's had better no. sex than me. Okay, I, I so, don't think she can. So if she starts feeling for another guy, then the fact that she slept with too many people becomes a problem because now you're not making her satisfied. But if she didn't sleep with that many guys, she wouldn't have as many people to compare it to. That's still an insecurity because you're worried. This? No, I'm not worried. I'm just telling you what can happen. That's not yeah. worrying. That's what happens what? when you sleep with too many people and sex becomes... Sex is not about the action of sex. It's supposed to be about the energy and the person united. So it doesn't... Have you ever been with a girl that's dead dead in bed but because you like her, Definitely. you're just going to stay with her? I'm sure oh, all no. men have done that. No. Oh. Sex is very important to me if you can't have yeah, sex. Yeah, but if, the, if everything else was... Say everything else was absolutely perfect, then... And, and the sex was dead, You yeah. would stay with the yeah. person because obviously you'd learn... Yeah. You'd, you know, you'd learn together. You'd show them how you like certain things. Yeah. Like, you could you wouldn't just I'm leave them because the sex was sex dead. I know, oh, no, but what about if they there was loyal, there was faithful, everything else, you know, that there was nurturing, but because the sex was dead, you'd leave them. That's what my mum's for. She's loyal and nurturing. I don't need a, a woman shit in bed looking after me. Not shit, bro. Right. Yeah, but you don't want a relationship anyway, so but it's always gonna be different when talking to you. One of those things, one of the the reason why men cheat. Or the reason why women cheat rather. Yeah. When the woman have loyalty, honesty, faithfulness, mm. and shit in bed, yeah, the man will have to go cheap because she's not good. True. She's not giving him yeah. what he deserves. That's a, that's a logical reason. I agree. And the same for ever so with with the men as well. When the man have loyalty, faithfulness, everything, and he's shit in bed, yeah, the woman, the girl will leave the man. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> because for women, sex is. If I think to them, it's like... No, but uh, most women... I'll be honest. Most women... Most of you women... Most of you women are shit in bed, man. I'm going to be just keeping... Because <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you women. keep fucking virgins. No. <laughs> <laughs> you keep finding them in church, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to just keep it real. Most of you women, you're not good. Like, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not. You're not. Like, you don't have the Megan Thee Stallion needs. You're not. You just... Like, you, you just talk all that game. Like, man would... Like, it's just the truth of the matter. So... They be talking all this stuff and they don't realise a lot of times men are just being nice to you. Most of you women are just dead. Like, especially you pretty women. The the prettiest girls are the worst. You're going to be like, no, not for me, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? Doesn't that defeat your argument? What? If the prettiest girls are the worst, but surely they've had the most sex, no, how are they shit bed. in bed? No. Yeah, no, but they've had the most sex. So yeah, they have, but they don't have to put no effort because they're pretty. Okay, fair it's, enough. It's the ugly, it's the ugly and fat, uh, fat girls that they ones. You know what I mean? Those Every ones, man knows that. Those ones there, they they the <laughs> excellent <laughs> men. Excellent. <laughs> they, do you know why? Because they don't get as uh, as much. So when they get it, they have to make sure that they sh- they put on a good show. And yeah, trust me, they're gonna get you're gonna get everything. Man, them if you wanna. <laughs> there you go. You heard it here. Well, yeah. I feel like this has took a swift turn now. So <laughs> <I don't laughs> we get back on topic. <laughs> my, man's, my 
Why am I just keep looking up? <laughs> hey, yes, man. <laughs> Missing right. piece, we put in the pieces, the missing pieces, we put them together. <laughs> this is a very different episode today. <laughs> you did, well, you, uh, I, I think very, I see some questions. We've got, we got a bit of, we got bits and pieces of everything in there. Qu- I feel like whatever question is... she had up there is not, it's not going on nah, no but more. but I feel like this has been quite good because we've got a bit of everything here. It's been very versatile. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> what's oh the most God. important message that you would give to a man that's struggling with mental health issues? And when and, and 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 how do you think that? How do you think men can recognise the warning signs and? Oh man, man! Like, don't cry to your girl first. Of all. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was your answer. Um, um, no, like, f- first of all, like, have someone that you can, you can speak to. Like, you should. Every man should have a close friend that you can speak to. A wolf. Normally, you should have a you know they call it a wolf pack. A few close friends, but at least one that you can turn to that you can speak to about about it. Everyone needs to have that. And that person needs to be someone that can recognise that you don't really speak like this. Yeah. So when they do, it's going to be a crisis time. And it's that thing that I'm speaking about, like, if you're going to cry, is this at this point where you're going to... And this person's going to realise, oh, my God, That's like, serious. I don't cry. You, you hear how I talk. If I cry to you, you're going to know something is very... Think about how I speak. Yeah. If I ever cry to you, you're going to know... It's going to be so drastic that you're going to take action. Do you not cry at films? No, I ain't gonna go. No, I don't watch. You haven't watched the Green Book. It's a what good film. that? The one with uh, oh, what's that? Background? I don't like movies that make me cry, man. <laughs> don't like that, man. Or he any just movie... doesn't like crying. In any general. movie he that stays makes me... away from anything yeah. that's gonna make him cry. You seen that he... cloudy with a chance of meatballs? I love put... that. The, the police officer says, like, yeah. "Get back in there." Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I love it. Yeah, that's how I am. No, I'm not. Listen, like you have to understand something. Like I'm not. I'm not here saying that I'm not because I. Because I'm, you know, I'm quite passionate. I can be quite emotional, but I have to control my emotions. Can I and ask you a question? Yes, of course you can. Did you have to be the man of your household? Um, no, my dad was there. I've always had to be a man. That, like, yeah, but I don't think... That's not even it. I just... Like, my father, my father's a diplomat. My father's a chief. Um, I've grown up in that African household. I've never seen my dad cry in his life, ever. And he's been through, he's been very through. I've never seen him cry in my life, in his life, ever. So that is, is that where do you think And he's led a lot of people and he's, and he's been very, very important man. He's done a lot of things. He's got statues. There's things that my father, I've just, and it's just the way I've been brought up. And it's not, I'm lots of love, my mum and that, and my father, but I've just, just, you know what I mean? And whenever I've, I'm not saying, you know, listen, I'm not saying I never cried to a girl, but if I ever did, that girl's She broke up with you. <laughs> Yeah, and so no, I would never be saying it. something, and and I don't look at, and I'm not talking from an adult. I'm not just saying oh because of my experience, like no, I would never do that. Like I would use that plus all the other things that people have said to me or what women have said to me, and I'll just be like, oh, I'll be like, you can cry if you want, but it's a risky one, and if if it doesn't work, then I I don't know what to say to you. But I would recommend not crying. But if you want to risk it or if you want to see, try it out. Every look, I'm. I yeah, pres- but that's not the reason why the girl left you, surely. It depends what, like, for a man to cry anyway is quite significant. Like, I'm not going to cry because I lost my job. I mean, like, something's, like, family passing away. Yeah. If yeah. you cry to your wife at that point, if she leaves you, <laughs> that was not your fault. That's a valid that reason to, like, cry you. to your partner. But, but, bro, I think the problem is, yeah, when we start saying men, you can cry, but... I'm not saying you should cry. I'm saying no, 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 I'm saying it's fine. I'm saying it's like... We're saying you can cry, but I'm not telling you what you can you can cry about, and I'm not telling you how long you can cry for. And if you cry too at the wrong thing, then that's a problem. So it's kind of a weird one because there's so many caveat parab like it's multifaceted. So I just be like, you know what? Actually, just don't cry because, or if you want to cry, cry to me. And I'm not saying. Remember, I'm not saying for men to not to cry. I keep. Yeah, just not I want to keep now. saying that. I want to yeah. keep putting it out there. I'm not telling men not to cry. I don't know if you've got a sister. I don't know if you've got your mum. Like, I don't know your family unit if you can go there. One of the reasons I wouldn't cry to my mum because I, she, it would be very drastic for her. And she would tell me, son, don't cry. Because she wouldn't know. She would know that I'm a strong man and now she's got her son crying. And I would worry my mum. There's things that I've stressed. I just wouldn't. Us as men as well, most of the things we go through, we just don't want to worry women. A lot of times women will say, you know when you know when a relationship ends and they're like, oh, you know, he didn't tell me about the bills and this was happening and then man was trying to figure it out. He was trying to do all the things as a man to protect you and stop you from worrying about the. Because once you see him, oh, the bills now you're worrying. 
Now you he's affected your day to day. And us as men, we try to always try to protect I see that. protect but the women. That, but then that, that's how I feel like that's how those kind of men end up getting not all but some end up getting into mental health issues that, because that they've level, been strong yeah. for too long. That level they feel of like they can't cry. They feel like they can't talk about their problems. That you know they feel like they always have to be the man and you know deal with everything on their own and you know. Just keep I just going. want you to speak to women, man, and because I would if I truly believe that women care like. See, that's what I'm trying to say. It's because I I had enough life experience, social media experience, been enough platforms, what I read, what I see. And so, I just... like, what kind of women are you dating then? Because... Oh. Wait, dip, let's stay on topic. That's a different topic. Yeah, that's the... No, You, you but... can ask them that after. So no, I, but if, if, if they wanna... don't care about your mental health, so, so what, they're only there for the fun times? No, but most women... I just Most women don't. I just told you Kim Kardashian left Kanye. Yeah, but... That's, that's one random example. It's a one... It's a one the ra- thing is, like, let's say, <coughs> let's say there was a... <coughs> sorry, say there was a significant <coughs> life event. This is this is exactly what I would say. Didn't, if, if didn't Chloe leave um, Lamar when he was going? Right, I don't know about yeah, these fucking famous people. Fuck some of But the reason why I'm using, no, the reason why I'm, I don't know why I'm using all the Kardashians, but the reason why I use famous people is because uh, their lives aren't normal anyway, bro. No, it's not normal. But if I use Gary from the pub, you're not gonna know that that Sharon cheated and left him. Yeah, but that's you know more I mean? that's more relatable. No, but we don't have. But it doesn't matter if you know who who they are. The point is, are they relatable? Yeah, it's relatable, but you wouldn't. Because th- this is exactly what I would say. Yeah. I would, like if something terrible happened in my life, I would mm. I would like go to <laughs> one of one of my girlfriends, and I would say, "Listen, I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm going through a really tough time right now. I just let want to let you know. It might take me a couple weeks. I'm gonna make sure I'm still on top of things. Nothing. Don't worry about anything. You keep doing what you need to do. After a couple weeks, I'll be back to normal. Don't worry about it. That's how I would do it. Like so, she knows. Okay. It might be a, like he's the experience something. Yeah. Something bad might happen, but he's on top of it. Yeah, if yeah. she sees me fucking collapse on the floor and useless, then yeah, she's going to be like, well, she's going to start doubting herself. And I get that. But the point is to always be in control. The, I'm, that's the most important thing for a man, which is to some extent still bad. But the, the thing that I do agree with you on <clears throat> is that I think you should behave however you want, but know that there's a consequence for that. So if you do cry in front of your woman and you mm. break down and you're, and you're nothing now, I'm not saying that you can't do that. I'm just saying understand that now she might see you as weaker if you haven't controlled it. Yeah, right? I don't, yeah. But I don't... if you can control it, that's fine. Let her know. Let her know as the man. Hey, listen, I'm I'm going through this. I need some time to myself. I like, just, please, please I don't just, talk to you me. You know what it is? It just sounds so nice. Um, it sounds so. Uh, yeah, oh, but it, quiet, the more you, know? you the more you talk about it, the, then the that's less what, it that's presents what men in don't other do. ways. It's... If you don't talk about it, then it can present in. Because remember, and one of the well, one of the main reasons for divorce is breakdown in communication. So it's always men trying to, like, I love that you hustle and I love that you keep going. And that's what a woman is going to love about you. But if you continue to do that and then you just never tell her, then she's just going to, one day everything's going to be fucked up. She's like, yeah. why, why don't you tell me? Yeah, I know. I don't, uh, Alex Hormozzi and his wife, Layla, yeah. you know them, the, the rich, almost billionaire people. Yeah. There was a point where Alex lost everything in his business and he said to his girlfriend, I think you should leave me. This is like going down and she was like I'll sleep with you under a bridge That you have to have that you can't wait till you're under a bridge to be like yeah I kind of fucked up no, you agree. should tell tell them before be controlled like she obviously knew that he was the kind of man that was always going to keep working that was always going to keep going but be yeah. controlled yeah but you know how much women have left their man when they're going through the I don't worst, know. The worst time so it's just it's it's that I, I would imagine that's because the man isn't controlled. Most men aren't controlled. But when you're going through a crisis and 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 mental health, how controlled can you be? As controlled as you have to be to maintain that relationship. But, but, that's what I'm saying. But I'm you saying you have to do what you have to do. I'm not saying only cry to your woman. I'm saying it's okay. You can remember to still talk to your boys, but you have to be able to have that communication so that she knows. Otherwise, she's just in the dark. No, but I'm saying thinking, what, what? and she's gonna argue with you, and then you're gonna be even more angry. That's probably gonna lead to domestic abuse. Imagine you've had one of the worst tragedies that actually makes you cry. You don't tell her. Yeah, but I'm saying you're just hustling. But now, and then she's now like, so "Why did you take param- out the fucking rubbish?" Well, now bro, there's so many parameters. That's gonna end you. Like now, bro. Like now, there's so many different scenarios how this can play out. See, so what I'm saying to you now is, you're told him you can cry, but now there's all these different rules of crying. There's not a straight you can cry my, now. My only rule is control it. But this is what I'm saying. How can you control it when you're going through shit? You just... Or even if but you're not it, crying, you do it. Talk, you talk do it. Because you don't talk to her. Yeah, yeah, you don't but... talk to your girlfriend, so you control it. So whatever the fuck you do, tell them to do that. You don't have to but cry, they, let them talk. cry first. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to cry to them. You don't have to cry. Talk to them through... about what's going on. Just take in charge. I had, to, I had to go through some savages to get where I am, man. This is stone cold right here. Exactly. And you still managed to control it in front of the woman. Yeah, because I understand something. Do you know what it is? One Which, thing, one thing when the woman leaves me is, 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 she's just never like, <clears throat> she's not, 
She can make up some stuff. That's cool. Women can always make up whatever they want to make up. But there's never going to be, like... Comment below. What it did was he do? never your fault. Huh? <laughs> it was, is oh, what you're going to say. No, no, I'm saying. <laughs> Whenever a woman leaves you, it's no, never been no, your no, fault. No, 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 There's no. There's always no. a reason, bro. No, no, no. Bro, but like, what? Women don't need a reason to leave. They're always leaving. They don't need a reason. You're giving, you're, you're, make, you're giving women an excuse to leave. Like, what do you mean? There's, there, there's, there's always a reason, but that's not a reason. That's women just... It's not good enough reason. Yeah, it's not good enough reason that there's always a reason. Like, and relationships now have become have become disposable. People don't work on anything no more. We live in a disposable world now. Yeah, like absolutely. fashion, there used to be four seasons of a year. <clears throat> Pardon me now, there's 52 weeks, of, 52 seasons. When I, when, the reason why I say that is because every week there's new fast fashion. So especially for you women, you get all these cheap fashion and then you buy it and the next week you won't wear it again, yeah? And that's how people treat relationships now. So whereas before people work, work out and do things, now it's like, nah, and because of all the options and dating apps social and social media. media, and especially with your whole ass friends always trying to tell you to come out with them, do you get me, yeah? Uh, those ones are the worst, but them whole ass friends, hey, man them, you always know the friend that when you meet them, that one there is going to be like, oh, she's going to kind of hate you, but you get the number, whatever, next minute she's dating, you're going out with her, doing whatever, now the friend's trying to draw her back outside. I mean... It's always the whole ass friend, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say something? <laughs> I've, I've said plenty. I'm, I'm happy to say something, but Kingsley, tell him what it is. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Tell, tell him what it is. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Tell him what <laughs> well, uh, what, the, the original question was, what, what should a man do if he's suffering with mental health in that relationship? Yeah, or, what would your message be? And also... What like if if a, if a man was facing challenges with his mental health, then what would you know? Would you talk? Would you would you hold it all in, or would you talk to your partner about it? Because I feel like the more you hold it all in and keep it to yourself, then it is going to probably present in violent outbursts or drugs or you know drinking a lot. Then just saying like, oh babes, I'm stressed right now. Like you know, just bear with me and explaining what's going on in your mind instead of trying to you know, be strong and keep it all to yourself and then it's coming out in different ways, you're snapping at you. Like, just like parents do with their children as well. Sometimes parents can be stressed. <coughs> and it can... It, it can Sometimes. Wow. Well, yeah, a yeah. lot of the times you're stressed, you can snap at your children, you know. You can come out in different ways. So acknowledging that you're stressed and sitting down and talking to people about it, then it can be much healthier than it coming out in other ways. Yeah, well, can I ask I a question? Wait, wait. Let, let Kizzy yeah. go. I think for me, uh, I would it say it's good to speak out, especially to someone that you can talk to. And second, second of all, it's good to acknowledge when you are in that position to say, okay, I need help. I need to speak to someone about it. The third one I would say is go on a, on a journey of self-discovery in terms of self-awareness. In that way, you'll be able to identify, okay, I, I've got this problem. I have to do something about it. I'm going to speak to this person to see how they're going to help, you know, help me to achieve the goal of taking me back forward instead mm-hmm. of backward. Mm-hmm. So um, thirdly, for me, I would say embracing it. Be happy that you're happy. Because if you're not happy that you're happy, you kind of you're going fighting. to endanger yourself more, mm-hmm. apply more mental issues to yourself. So it's better to embrace that situation and work towards to improve and come up with it. Yeah, that's my own take on that one. I, lo- I love the calm and peace that comes when he talks. Polar opposites. I can be calm too, you know. How did you how did you get into this polygamy relationship, multiple girlfriends? How does it work? I, I've always, how does it work? I've always known I never wanted to be one person. Just couldn't do it. I tried twice, cheated twice. What the one relationship was one week, and I still cheated. So what That's is how, it? What is it wow. about other women that you need that you need to have? Like you just what? Is I it? just enjoy it. Do you play any games? Like no, I'm not a gamer. Or like football? Any sports? Mm, basketball. Is there anything that you like love that you just do for pleasure? podcasting cool let's say let's make let's make an analogy <laughs> with podcasting the way that you feel about podcasting is the way that i feel about sex i just love doing it i'm not trying to get anything like that okay there has to be some level of ego i love fucking who doesn't but i just i can't 
give that up just to be a woman. I what? haven't. I haven't seen. Is it, it sex enough. with anyone, or does it have to be high quality? High quality. Yeah, women are fine. No, I'm saying it could be like sex addict. You know, just anything. I would. I wouldn't call myself a sex addict. I don't have sex enough to be a sex addict. But like, I I can't be with one woman, see another woman, and be like, oh, now now I can't do anything. You have a that, right. that feels like absolute entrapment uh, restriction. I How can't many times do a week that. do you have sex? Pause. <laughs> uh, with diff- number of people. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, not one woman. That's just <laughs> it's, it's not it's not regular. But I sleep with anywhere from five to eight people at a time. What so, at the same time? No, like. Uh, What's the word? Simultane- simultaneously. Simultaneously. Yeah. Yeah. five yeah. to eight yeah. different yeah. women. And then eventually, like, women, they don't all get into their feelings, but eventually, like, I'm, I'm a lovely, wonderful person, and people eventually will develop feelings for you. And I just, I always say from the beginning, and by the way, the, the people who I have been in open relationships with, I've said, listen, if you want to be in a relationship with me, understand that I don't see myself ever changing in the future. So get into a relationship with me believing that I'm always going to want to sleep with other people and make your decision from that point. And eventually, one girl, you say, you say to them, okay, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to keep sleeping with other, these other people. Is that mm. something that you think you can do? Yeah, okay, awesome. Then I'll, I'll make you my girlfriend. And I, I'm like, co- communication is massive to me. I, did, is there I, like a... Is there, like there's a community, nothing, is there like a community where you find them? There's nothing... There's, <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to do anything, bro. You just You just sleep with... You just live your life, do whatever you want. And when you tell girls exactly what you want, they're going to say yes. Plenty more girls tell me no. No, but see, more girls tell me I, no. I can imagine the no ratio must be quite high more out girls. there. And, and I'm obviously aware that's, I literally, when was it? Two weeks ago, the girl, she said, I'll have to see how I feel about the situation. Have you heard back from her since? Yeah, I still talk to her every, like, pretty much every day. Like, obviously, have you slept with her again since? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess she saw how she's thought about the situation. But, like, all you have to do is be... I'm not saying everyone is going to say yes. Yeah. But some people are, and that's how you live your life. You do business. Not everyone says yes to your business, yeah, but the people that yeah, are yeah. is why you make money. Yeah, yeah. So the reason yeah. that I can do what I do is because there's people who say yes, and then everyone wants to judge those women. Oh, they must not get... Like, bro, meet me. I'm fantastic. Yeah. Any, any man can do this if they become the kind of man that a woman will be like, you know what? He treats me well enough. He gives me everything I want. And he just, like... Fucks other girls. Is it a headache to just have multiple women on the yeah. call? I have to deal with that. <laughs> Consequences of my actions, I have to deal with multiple texts. And I have tried to reduce. But every time I reduce, every time I delete an app on my phone, there's something in my brain that goes, ah, I just lost opportunities. I could, I wish, I, let me actually, actually no. I, wait, do I have, what, what also, I, I can show you screenshots after, but yeah. like I, I, mess, I saw a girl on a dating app ages ago. And this is back when I would only bring girls to my place on the first date. Mm-hmm. So she was like, oh, can we go on a date? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Like, you don't take girls out. I yeah. saw that. Yeah, I've started doing that now. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, after that video, man, he's like... <laughs> so I started doing that now yeah. because, again, it expands opportunities and I wanted to be more normal. Um, so... No, but I was... I like that video, though. Like, I was like... When I saw that, I was like, yeah, I'm down. Even though... Because I'd be like... I'd be like... I could have saved a lot of money. You know what? As men, when we take you out and it's just... We just so sometimes it's just a waste of time. Yeah. So I agreed with a lot of the stuff you were saying in that so video. Now, I was like, yeah. I take girls out on a walk and I'll buy them like an ice cream, a slush, a cold drink, and we enjoy the sunshine. I like that. Summer. Um, <laughs> but I can't remember where I was going with the point, but I'm sure it's going to be really interesting and important. But I take so I take them out for a walk. Mm. Oh yeah, this one girl. So I was going to meet up, meet up with her in the past, but she wouldn't come over straight away. So I was like, all right, cool, never mind. And then I saw her again on the dating app. And uh, I was like, oh, lord, the dating's going well because she's still on there, like, six months later. <laughs> uh, and then she just goes, I'm not here to date, I'm here to fuck. Whoa. I was like, okay. So you can find them, bro. No, but I'll be honest with you. Most women on dating apps are there to fuck, though. Yeah, I, that's I, what I'm there I, for. I don't, I, don't, I don't think... Because... And women will always say stuff like... And they'll always be like, oh, you know, I'm on a dating app, you know, I'm not just there for sex. But I'm like, well... All my friends are there and they're there for sex and they're having a lot of sex. So they got to be women they're having sex with, right? So everyone always says, you know what, my you know, my friend met their, you know, their husband on there, or or you know, they met their partner and they'd be really happy. Everyone has got that story, that one yeah. story of a friend's friend. But that's like the lottery or something. Do you know what I'm saying yeah, to you? Cool. Everyone knows somebody something that won the jackpot or won a scratch card. So, but you be playing every single day and you can't get anything, yeah. So it's kind of it's kinda of like it's kinda of, it's, it's it's kind of similar. Yeah. I just uh, no, <clears throat> I think we have almost exactly the same opinion. The difference is, I think you should do whatever you want and accept the consequences. You think you should do whatever it takes to get you the best outcome. Does that make sense? 
So you say don't cry to your woman because that will give you the best outcome. It will keep yeah. the relationship strong. I say do it, but accept that she might see you as weaker. I accept that, but I'd rather not like restrict my own life and be like, oh, I want to cry, but I need to put a man. No, like, no. That's I, just that one in instance. No, There's other things. No, yeah, no. I, but, I, listen, I'm not... Quite, listen, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to. See, this is the thing. Try, it's like I, 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 don't I, I, give people advice you don't believe. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> You're right. don't, don't, no, don't because, no, but if you want to see it, yeah. So because I never, it's like the simping thing. I said every man should simp at least once. Because <laughs> every man has to at least yeah, once. Yeah. No, but so, uh, when That's I said that, when that clip, people were like, "Oh no, I've never simped," and and yeah, I know, I'm never. I'm like, bro, it's okay, you know. It's like it's it's okay to like it's okay to cry once. Like it's okay. I'm not telling yeah. you. I'm not saying that I woke up and I was. Stone cold, never cried, never simp. No, because how would I know? Or how be, if I wouldn't have no life experience? You know what I'm trying to say to you? The reason why you're so cold is because of what you've been through. I wouldn't even say cold. I'm just, I am, I'm in control of my emotions. And I think, okay, one of the things that we have today is we have a lot of men that are not in control of their emotions. Yeah. And when you react emotionally, this, okay, so let's talk about teens. When a young teenage boy erects, um, um, acts emotionally, what does he do? He does some of the things I was talking about earlier on, the stuff that you can call him mad for, but it's, he's not at the age of being mad yet. He's just a teen and he's just acting erratic because they don't understand. So when you're on your 16, 17, 18, when you pull out a knife and you kill somebody, yeah, like you have no concept of time because you ain't even lived to 25 yet. So you don't even know what what you've gone and like essentially gone and done. You know what I'm trying to say to you? Because, um, wait, what was I saying? Why am I, why, yeah. Controlling your emotions. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, one of the reasons because when you ha have control of your emotions, it stops you from acting emotionally. I could never hit a woman in my life. It's impossible. You will never find a woman that will ever say that I will put my hands on her because I'm in control of my emotions. Because you could do whatever you want to do and I will just leave. The one thing I have control over is in the scenario, I will remove myself from it. Do you understand? But if you carry on going, what's going to happen? So, if me and him start going... Back and forth, yeah. How long do you give it? 60 seconds. How long do you before someone of us says, what are you saying? I don't fight people. I do everything I can to avoid it. Okay. Fight, I know what you're saying. Like, like it's, it's, it's uh, eventually going to How long will you t If I keep disrespecting you and oh, how long? I can deal with words. Words don't oh. mean nothing. If you came at me physically, yeah, yeah, okay. then I would defend myself. Basically, how long? So that, yeah. So, but I would never, okay, okay, I never on the street. instigate fights. Let, let's do that. On the street, if for whatever, we used to having words, and I hop out my car and I come to you. At that point, how are you going to... You, yeah, and I'm, 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 I'm waiting for you to come close. Okay, but I'm saying if I come into your face at that point, you're ready for you're yeah. ready for a fight. Yeah, once, once you're in yeah. arm's distance, that's yeah. danger. So we like 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 we kind of we kind of we kind of we kind of recognize that in it. Yeah, so we regulate ourselves. So I know if I start mouthing off with a man and disrespecting a man, I don't know. At some point, I don't know he. I don't know his just philosophy. Generally, generally, yeah, generally. I don't know his philosophy. I just know he's a man, and I can see he's a built man as well. So if I start insulting him and start doing too much, he might be like, actually, you know, f this. Now I have to be, res I have to be ready for that. Yeah, with a woman, you can run your mouth as much as you want. I can't do a goddamn thing. I can't. What can I do? What What do you do to a woman that will not fall in her femininity? That keeps. What do you do? What can you do? Hey, That's a good point. My my. What can you so, do? What can you do? You should be able to what can you do? restrict them. You know, I, I don't know if you've worked on wards and stuff. Yeah. No, you know, no, no, she yeah, hasn't. She should be able to no, she hasn't touched you. She hasn't touched you. She's just be oh, you. She repeatedly disrespectful, swearing at you, rude. Basically, being well, aggressive. That's but even if a man's aggressive, I don't think that gives you a right no, to then hit him. No, no, but I'm saying to you at some point, but she's riling you up, just saying. A, Doing things to rile you up here. Yeah. At what point, yeah? See, with a man, I would I'll be, leave. I'll, I'll be honest. Nah, to, listen. With men, once you do that to a man, you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a fight because that's how men respond. Men are more likely to respond like that. That's yeah. why I would never go to a random guy and just start insulting him because, bro, he might just knock me the hell out. Chances are he will. That's he's gonna fight me. Cause like, what? You... But with a woman, you can't do anything. So with a woman that acts like a man, what do you do? The only thing you can do is remove yourself. But a lot of men, they don't do that. What do they do? They argue, they get emotion, they get whatever. And you could be cool for 20 years. One day you're going to snap. One day you're going to snap. No one can't handle that for 20. And on that day you snap, you're going to be labelled well, an abuser. Men should, men should, but no one you know the way that women shouldn't but, stay with abusive men? Men shouldn't stay in those relationships. If yeah. a woman is constantly running her mouth to you, degrading you, bringing you down, calling your names, abusing you... 
not physically, but with her mouth, then yeah, you, you should need live. to leave, man. Yep. You shouldn't stay What there. we should do versus what people do are two separate things. Same with women. Why did you stay? It's the exact same thing. Why did you stay? Are we going to now start? Because we don't we don't demonise women for staying. Like, we people actually understand to like, oh, she couldn't leave. You know, They make all these excuses, the kids, the this. But how come for a man will saying, why don't you? Do you understand? A lot of us men have been conditioned to receive abuse. A lot, a lot of them, our abuse starts off with our mothers, first of all. You do realise that. So I'm saying to you. So, and this is what we talk about the single mother things. People hate that I speak about it because we all they want to do, especially within the black communities, we wanna we wanna kind of pedestalize single mothers to some type of godly thing. But if we look at the stats and we look at what's currently going on, single mothers are a big part part of the problem, but no one wants to speak about it. And when I do, they wanna they wanna act like I hate single mothers when I don't. I actually care about the families and and the lack of father figures and what it does to the kids, to the sons and to the daughters without them there. Yeah, true. I, I agree with I all agree that. With <clears throat> and the thing I would I would add though, I don't know how you feel about divorce and breaking up, like like you said about like uh, potentially my relationship. Only with, an with abuse. My son. Abuse. Well, that's the thing. If you're co constantly arguing and there is no resolution, that's I maybe this is going to be my opinion on it. Over a long period of time, over that child's life, that's going to be more damaging than just having two separate. But what households. type of arguments are we talking? Like you don't not not you have to just shouting. Not go into that. Shouting a hundred percent. You don't have to hit, but shouting a hundred percent. But is it stuff that you can't? Is e are these ego arguments? It, I don't. I, no, the, the point I'm not making isn't the content. It's the impact on the child. You no, know I'm for saying a child to see I, that. I'm saying for, can't for years. I'm saying can't you? I'm saying can't you? Like, can't. Is it is it too big of an argument to resolve for the child? That's what I'm saying. Well, uh, no, a years. It could be one day. It could be the bins. The next day, it could be. You know, like you're, if you're, you're just losing generally money, unhappy, you just argue all the if time. It's and over shouting. years. But you know I'm saying, I so, think it's okay for how to split. No, I'm not trying to make it about you, but I'm just trying to say, if we make it not about you, then I would say, look, how long was that happening before you had a child with her? Like then, because a lot of times women, I'll be, women will be like, oh, you know what. He, he was this, he he didn't work, or he was this abusive, he was this. I tend to ask, when did that happen? Because a lot of times, if you get, get with a productive guy and you have kids with him, he's not all of a sudden going to turn into a waste man. No, but chances some are... Some guys do. Chances, no, 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 some no. guys do, but chances... Like, if you get with me and you have my kids, I'm not all of a sudden about to, once you get my kids, I'm going to put my feet up. It's about to, the work's about to increase, yeah. right? I'm not, I'm not about to become an abuser now I have kids. I would have been an abuser before and yeah, I would have been... a lot of perpetrators of domestic violence don't get violent until you're pregnant. They know that they've secured that woman. Okay. The first time yeah. they'll put hands on you is when you're pregnant. Yeah. She's the expert. I have to be okay, there. no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't. But yeah, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't do this. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you still got time. <laughs> we because, said you still got time. Because obviously, if you went on a, if you in the beginning, you know, you was dating them, you know, you, the first like, you know, year or whatever, yeah. there was beating you, then you probably wouldn't have a child with that person, would you? Some not, women not, do. Some okay. women yeah. do, and it's yeah. not every single one. But there is, if you go on the freedom program and all those kind of things, there are a lot of abusers that start the first physical act of violence when the woman's pregnant. So what are you saying? Um, you won't know unless you until you have a baby whether or not you're abuser. No, no. <laughs> Once no. it's like Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. No, Once of the kid not. comes out, you're like <laughs> <laughs> No, but you can get no, but you can get people that have been married for years. No. That, if I that, raise my where's, where's the baby pilot? Where, what's it? <laughs> After that first shopping no, trip. you can After get people scan. that have been married for yeah. years as well that have never experienced no violence, and then all of a sudden, like say five years into the marriage, the man starts beating the woman. That's mad. That's mad. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I don't think no, yeah, it's yeah, hard. Mad. It's hard to make a blanket rule for everyone, but if if both of you are trying and there's clear progress, I think try your best to make it work. But even if what like in your situation, you said he was trying, but there was no progress, you have to just be like. You like okay. I, I don't know the guy, so I'll say it in, in a different situation. If a guy is even if he's trying, I don't care who you are, man, woman, or child. If you're trying and you continuously fail, you have yeah. to change something, bro. Yeah. You can't like if if I'm in a relationship and it's like for better or for worse, all that stuff. Fine. They they have cancer. They're in a wheelchair. You stick with them. Honestly, you have to. That's the person that you either. love. But when there's a situation, and she is becoming a person that is clearly detrimental to your life. She's trying, but there's no improvement. Or she's just not trying. You have to just go. If if you're not even gonna fucking change, I'm. There's there's no benefit to me staying and in this. And not just abusive relationships, but say if a relationship wasn't working out and you constantly like you said shouting and arguing and whatever. 
that could then affect the mother. That could affect how she parents the children. She's unhappy. Yeah. She's stressed. She's starting yeah. to get down, yeah. depressed now. So she's not being the best mum she can be for her children. So it's not always, I feel like, you need to be uh, physically abused or cheated on to leave. If you get to that point where you're really unhappy and it's affecting how you parent and all of that, then... Mm. And if you do decide to stay, the way I like to compare it is, it's like having a lion as a pet. If you want to keep it, fine. But know that you're going to get bitten, you're going to get scratched, you're going to get fucked up. That's like... like uh, don't ha put yourself in a bad situa situation and complain about it. <clears throat> you so have to understand there's consequences. So what would you do in the future then? Like, it's because, listen, here's the thing. I don't have any kids, yeah? And part of the reason I don't have any kids is because I don't want to go through this. Like, I think one of the worst, one of my worst nightmares will be a weekend dad. Like, I just haven't, first of all, I need my weekends because I, <laughs> I, do, I don't need to be seeing my kid on the weekend. Like, and it's, have, having a, a child outside your house is probably one of the most expensive things you're going to do because, you know what I mean? Especially depending on how much you're active and what you do for the woman and the rest of it. And I just know, especially with the world that's currently on, I need to be have a very active role in my child's life because my child might come home and tell me he wants to be a zebra. because And they told him in school he's a zebra. And, you know, and, and, and it's real because it's not even a joke. You want to be active father, you know. You see what happens when the kids don't have the fathers in their lives and a lot of the stuff and daughters as well. So I would... <clears throat> so what's worse to me? Because I, 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 I thought about this the other day. I um, said to my friend, um, what's worse, having a child out of wedlock or not having a child at all? Well, obviously you've had plans. Get me, cause I, I so I'll, I'll say this, Yeah. and I, like I said, I, I don't want to say I My kids weren't planned, Yeah. right? And I, because of my lifestyle, never wanted to be a dad. I wanted to live my life, be free. Before I had kids, I was working a job that travelled round to the tennis tournaments with a, a organisation. I don't know if I can say their name. I travelled around to the best mm. tennis tournaments, saw all the top tennis players. Travel was free. We stayed in fucking mansions because there was like 10 of us and yeah. I was paid. Didn't have to pay for anything. And still now, every second I spend with my kid is the best. No nothing compares to it. Mm. And I always will cry when I talk about my kids because of how much they mean to me. But, like, nothing... Not, not Kids aren't for everyone. I'm not saying have kids and it'll be the best thing. Yeah. But I'm saying I'm surprised based on who I am that my kids are the best no, thing. No, but I can hear I it. Nothing like comes close. If, you if, a if I could give up everything and yeah. spend every single day with my kids, 100% If I would, a man's having a child out of wedlock and he's being a very active father, then yeah. that is okay. But if you're having a child out of wedlock and then... You know, your baby father's not in the picture and like you said, you're a single mother and that child has to grow up with a dad then. But if you're having a child out of wedlock and you're a very active and present father mm. and you, you know, you, you're there in your child's life, you see them regularly, you're attending all the parents' evenings and, you, you know, you're playing your role, then it doesn't impact the child as much as it does if, like I said, the dad's missing and not in the picture. And, and the one piece of advice I would give for anyone wanting to have kids, mm. in my opinion, the most important thing to have in your life is stability. Because a kid, regardless of what point you're at, is going to flip everything upside down. Mm. But having stability, especially financially, is going to be one of the most important things. But is it stability having both parents in the yeah. house together? Yeah. As right. long as they're happy in that relationship. Yeah. If they're unhappy, then they shouldn't stay together just yeah. for the child, just now, to keep that's what I was that saying family about, unit. Other arguments. If a kid's constantly seeing arguments, I believe that's going to be more no, damaging. I, no, no, no. Like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a prescriber to stay in stuff. I think you'd be a good dad, bro. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. Like, I'm a good uncle. I've got nieces and nephews. And, like, I'm... I just... You know what it is? <laughs> See, my because of my dad's job, he spent a lot of time away from me. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's... But, you know, he did a lot for a lot of people, influential man. But uh, I've always had my father there. I've got a dad there. But if your dad is not in the home, then you don't actually... You, yeah, you suffer from the same... Yeah, yeah. And that's what I was saying. Did you... Was you the man of the house? Yeah, I was man in the house, but I, I think... Are you the oldest? No, 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 no. So I'm not the man... But I just think my mum always... Since I've been doing the podcasting, yeah, I just discovered that, that like, my parents did a lot of sacrifices, my dad did a lot of... And things that I wouldn't... Stuff that people would probably do now. Yeah, and I couldn't understand... Like, but they made a lot of sacrifices so we could have opportunities, innit? And I just don't want to be do what they had to do in order to have that. Yeah. I would, you know, I mean, I want to be there for my kid. I don't want to spend half my life away from my child. And it would, I see, if a woman right now, any woman can leave me, and it's fine. But if she has my child, bro, I have to call her phone now. You know, it means a lot, bro. Like now she's got me. Like I can't actually just move now. She, my my mind, and it's I can't give that to someone and not be with her. 
because it's gonna do too much to me. You said like, something important, and I think any any because some parents don't give a fuck about their yeah. kids, by the way. But most parents who actually do care, all the things that you said you don't want to sacrifice, you immediately would when you love your kid. Mm. It's actually crazy. I'm not saying that will happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's the experience I had. All the things that you didn't want to sacrifice, you, you just do. No, but I want to do it in a home with the woman. Yeah, that's the wanna, best. Yeah. That's the and, best. And for me, doing it outside, it's going to feel like I'm doing it alone. It's going to feel like I'm just I'm just doing what I'm doing now. Make, trying to make money to, to and just... Like, it's very empty. Yeah. Like, do you get me? Women, so, don't have kids if the guy doesn't want to be with you. you yeah, like don't. So make sure that shit. And then I'll see like, and people be like, I oh, you can just find abortion. a woman to have a kid. I'm like, it's not that easy. It's not that easy when you don't want to break up with her. Do you realize yeah. that? It's easy if you want to. Bre- if you don't mind breaking up with your, it's very easy because lots of girls will have your child. Yeah. Like, but if I'm gonna be a scenario now where it's gonna turn into that baby mother thing, I'm not gonna see my child. It's gonna be well. It's just too much stress for me. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not the type of guy that can deal with baby mama drama. I'm just being real. I'm not that type of guy. So. I have to kind of like, and my oh, I got as three sisters and a brother. They're all married with child. My parents are married over um over forty years now, so it's like that's what I've grown up from here. Yeah? And I know it's a different time. Like I know, like you know, <clears throat> like I should be having kids. I should be like I should feel like that. How old are you? You, you know, as a like as a man, like I'm almost forty now. Like I know I look young. This what, what this what happens. I know. <laughs> I've got no wrinkles in his forehead. Do you know, know why? Do you know why? Because he's got no baby. Yeah, I'm saying my thirties now, and I'm like, but no, it's but like, and here's the thing, and so I can speak from an an, an older perspective and an educated perspective. So I'm never saying anything like that. But the reason I don't have kids is because I don't want no baby more. And no, you laugh, so, but. Have you, have you met a... I, I, I've never been in love in the way people are like, oh, fuck, I love you so much. I love people, but never like, oh, this is the only one. Have you ever felt that feeling where, you're like, oh, this is the one? Oh, bro, every time I felt like that, she wasn't the one. <laughs> <laughs> bro, there's so many the ones. They're everywhere, man. Because it's the one here. If you go to Brazil now, I'm sure you find the one. If I put you in America, I'm sure you find the one. Australia... I, I find uh, the number South, two and three. Yeah, but, but what I'm trying to say... <laughs> What is the concept of the one? The co- sorry, so what is the concept of the one? The concept of the one is just based on locality, right? So wherever I put you, you're going to be okay. Wherever I put you, you're going to find one, two, and three. But it's a commitment, though. But this is the thing, right? I'm committed. At any given time with these girls that I thought they were the one, I would have tapped out. Because the thing about men is most men, we... So women are hypergamous, as you know. They're always looking for the next best thing, right? But most of us will Not just... Not always. Okay, not always, but majority of the time, like, you know, because they can, because, yeah. you know. I know what you're saying. Though. Yeah. So it's like, I would have tapped out and been happy. Now, in hindsight, I'm like, oh, I'm glad I didn't. But that's because you're not with them, right? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> of course, you're going to say that. But if you were still with them, you would have been like, actually, it's a good thing, right? But because I didn't, I was like, well, at least I didn't get a kid with that. I can, I can go into the world fresh, right? And... A lot of the things I prescribe from, you know, as a man, like, you know, you go for your 20s, whatever, find yourself, depending on what you're doing, do you get me? Let me just ask you a quick question. On, if you did have a kid with any of them, the thing that ended the relationship, do you think there would have been a way to, you don't have to go into specifics, do you think any of those relationships where you felt they were the one or just like an amazing person, do you think that if you did have a commitment like a kid, you would have been able to make that work? Because that's what a lot of marriage is. You've, the things that you would just break up with some random girl, you make it work because you have to. I don't know, bro. Like, some of them girls, I just I don't even find them attractive now, man. So then, how are they the one then? Oh, okay, no. <laughs> now you don't find them attractive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, but but I don't know. Is that because of, t- like... Yeah, but it's not about looks, is it really? If you're thinking about someone that you, you're going to have a child with and make that commitment with, it shouldn't be based off of looks. Well, it definitely should be based off of looks. I ain't going to... Maybe not entirely. I, <laughs> I have no... <laughs> ugly, ugly Obviously, you've got to be attracted to them because... You know, you, know. you wouldn't be able to stay with them if you wasn't. So I'm but definitely gonna cheat on That's that. not what's gonna make a good family <laughs> unit for you. The looks. No, but it's beginning. Like, uh, so do you do regular relationships? Yeah, but that's all I do. But uh, so like, how, how do you not cheat? Because I'm loyal. Because, because, because I'll tell you why I don't cheat. Because I can do it now, and it's yeah. sh- shit. Like, I have access to women all the time. Like, and it doesn't make me feel good about myself. Like, like I said, I'm older, right, as well. So, like, how good... Like, And I've said before, I don't actually approach women. Women always approach me. I know people say... But they literally do, right? So, I'm in that small percentage of men 
that women approach. Women, women might watch it and be like, yeah, we don't. But they, they lying. They know they're lying. <laughs> they, they'll, the you women, baby moms will say, you hate me. No, you don't. You want to see my DMs. You're like, because I'm... Sh- because not every woman is looking for me to be their step, their kid step that. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Like, so they're like, yeah, cool. I, I agree with what you say because actually I, that's not what I'm looking for. So, and why does it matter that I don't want to be a stepdad? Are you looking for a stepdad for your kids? Whenever someone gets in a relationship, has sex with you, does it really matter what she, what they, what they, like, what they really prescribe to? Because you, are you really going to, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and I'm not saying I'm just looking for women for that, but I'm just saying sometimes people get too concerned with, oh, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't like step, I mean, he doesn't like women with kids and I got kids. What, what, what do you want from me? Do you want to date a man or do you I, want to step that? If I, I feel like that shouldn't be a concern if they've got an actual, uh, fa- that their child's father's involved. They shouldn't be looking. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you're a woman and you're, you're, you've got children with a man who's involved, an active father in their life, mm. then you don't really need to go out there and look for stepdads. No, but some you know of them. I mean? want, no, but some of them want to have kids, more kids. Mm. What well, if you're in a relationship with someone who has a kid? Yeah, it's your job to love that kid. Wait, and but by the way, but I, I'm, I'm, ag- I'm actually agreeing with what you're <laughs> saying. I'm agreeing with what you're yeah. saying because you're saying don't date, not don't, but know that they have a kid and we yeah. don't want to raise your kid. So if you are a guy and you're move and you're in a relationship with a single mama, <laughs> single baby mom, <laughs> single mom, <laughs> single mom, um. Don't do it and think that you're gonna not give a fuck about her kid. I'm but not. Why? Say, I'm not but saying. Why can't I do that? Why can't I just have her? That her her kid. Her <laughs> no, I'm being real. Why can't I just have her? I don't want a kid. So I, I'm I'm not saying it's your obligation to fuck a single mom and love her kid. I'm saying if you decide to know that it's pretty much your job to be the dad, the, the kid. That's that's what comes with it. That's like that's like that's like saying uh, a, a single dad. If if the woman comes in, oh, I, I don't give a fuck about your kid. Even yeah, single you dads have be like, to. Why? That's. I, I don't even know how to say why because if to me, in my head, it just makes complete with you, sense. It's that, different to if they just like, want to sleep with you. How? No, but why? Wait, wait. Would you even want to be with someone who doesn't give a fuck about your kid? Why? Why should you have to? There's a shoot. My kid's got a mother, and I'm father. Like. So, what? My kid's gonna. Be I don't at have my one. House. So, like. What? Well, okay, the kid will be at your house at some point. And probably, if you're having a long term relationship with this new person, she is going to be there as well. But if she tells she me that has she, to give a fuck if, about if she tells me that she doesn't want to be a mother to my child, I can't get mad. You're not expecting her to be a mother to your child, but if you wanted to have a serious relationship with her, then she needs to have feelings for no, the child. Don't. Not like as in like, oh, I love, I love the child like it's my own. But you can't, you couldn't, you couldn't get with a woman that said no. Like, Alicia, the problem with this year is yeah, especially with what with what you um with what you do, like, see one of them. One of the one of the main reasons that children abuse is because women bring outside men into their homes, and you expect these men to love but, these children like they're theirs. But these children are not theirs. These children are not. These children are yours, and you want. And they come inside and 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 this is so when abuse starts at home, it tends to come from the men that the the yeah, uncle. And this true. is what I'm trying to say to you because you want these men. No, your daughter is looking. She's walking around in them little shorts and that, and this is where it starts because no, because women do this. You think that I don't? I want to have sex with you. I don't want to have but sex with your that, daughter. Yeah, but, but that's, then the, important, that, what, that's what, the important thing. First, I wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't blame the daughter you're wearing short shorts. Should not be being around your children. No, yeah. no, but once again. That but will... anyone you're sleeping with but then now you want him to be a stepdad yeah you want him to be whatever and I'm telling you this guy has no genetic connection with your family so you're bringing an outside man that's the man's fault into... no no, it's not the man's fault it's the woman's fault you bring an outside man because of your relationship and you put him around your daughter or your son and now he's now abused him that's your fault that, because you I, it's never no 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 no. I'm not, I'm who not, brought I, the man in the house I am not allowing who, you to who, say who, it's who, a woman's fault who? that a man came in and abused her kid well, wait, hold on who invited the man in yeah, the woman was did. Was it Father Christmas? <laughs> I understand what you're saying, but the abuse as an act, that's the man's fault. Huh? No. I'm, I'm never... It's no. The woman allowed the man into the, into the relationship. The and I, I agree with yes. everything that you're saying. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Except the fact that it's the woman's fault. Of course it's the woman's fault. It's the woman... She, it's she the allowed him fault. into the house. Okay. But the man... If you're sleeping with a single mom, yeah. she has a kid. Yeah. You have to accept that. No, I don't. Why? What, what is the contract that says that? Because that's on you. No, it's not on me. It's on her. That's okay, not my child. Then that, in that case, I would just tell, tell the woman, fuck him off because he doesn't give a fuck about your Why? kid. Why? 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 Because that's the woman's choice. Why? Yeah, but she's not going to fuck if, me off either, if, is she? If, if she just... hasn't got options like that. How are you going to be? How are you going to just tell a man? Because that's very... You know what? That like, How can you come with another man's child and then say to me 
because I don't agree, oh, it's you. I'm the one with the problem. How about it's you, your choice. How about you stay with the guy you had ch- children? Well, how about she stays with the guy that she gave the highest honour to by giving that man a child and don't come outside expecting a man to, t- to raise their child? That's, no, that's I'm not, cheeky. Women, sh- women shouldn't accept. That's very cheeky. Women, women shouldn't accept. And, and you need to be humble. It. You don't come out here, see... see Actually, you, no, I said they should. They should yeah, expect did, it. Yeah. But they should expect it and uphold the standard. No. So if the man doesn't love your child, do not be with him. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if they don't have options. That's a different argument. No, be humble if, with it, though. You be can't sing- come out here and be, demand. Yeah, yeah. That's I agree with that. You have to, be, you have they, to slide it in. Yeah, w- single women have to understand that now you have a kid, you have fewer options. Any Most single parents do. Alicia, some of you people's kids, like, like I'm just saying, some of these women's kids, like, like the kids are really bad. They're not nice kids. But yeah. the, the, the point yeah. is... if I know you love your kids, but if some of these kids are annoying. If I am dating a single mum, yeah. I know the kid comes with that. That is dumb for me to think I don't have to give a fuck about the kid. If I'm just fucking up, I get it. But... If I'm actually having a long term relationship, yeah, there's no way just... in my head it makes sense for me to think yeah, I can't give a fuck. Because if you're just the fucking her, you're never really going to make the kid anyway, are you? But if you want to get into a relationship with her, then obviously you're going to have to accept the child. If you want to get into a serious relationship with her, if you just want to fuck her, that's fine because you don't ever it's, need it's to on, meet I'm not the saying child. it's just men, it's on both of them. A woman no. should vet the man firstly. Yeah. A woman needs to do more but vetting. What I'm saying but is, the man has to what know I'm that is, the kid it's comes just with that it. Women need to understand that. Men are like most men are not rushing to be stepdads, like especially like it's just not innate. Of course like, not. Well, yeah, so when you come outside, men don't have options because when you come outside, you need to understand that you know that men, even men with kids, they can still get women with no kids. So I'm saying to you because their kids tend not to be there. With yeah, them. because you, the the women are the ones that have to have the children yeah. living with them. Or, okay, so this is another reason why women need to pick better men that they have babies with because you're going to be left with that. And you don't typically get much higher than your baby father. So if your baby father is a local trap lord that's been jailed three or four times, you're not about to go and pick up a baller. You're not about to go and pick up a guy in a suit, a finance banker. You don't get to them. And a lot of times women, what women do is, like, they'll give some guy their kids or whatever, their baby father, and then they'll speak badly about their baby father. But I'll be looking at them thinking, hold on a second, you're, dis- you're talking bad about this man, but you have his child. Now, what man wants to come in and now look after another man's child, which you don't even speak highly of? Yeah. Like, see you know what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of times women don't even understand the language that they use makes men not even want to come in those scenarios because it's like, it's, you don't even speak highly about your baby father. Yeah. If your baby father, trust me, if your baby father was a footballer, of an influ- like like a rapper, like someone that has status money, the types of men you would be dating will be of equal level. They would be the same types of men that would be coming, right? But if your guy... So this is why you, women need to understand that a lot of times you your level is going to be set by your the guys you've dated yeah. prior to that and people judge that. Even with men as well. You know some... Like if, a man, if a man does too much, you'd be like, no, oh, he's he's done this or he's dealt with that certain person. I don't want to... And and women... No, a lot of times women are attracted to men that a lot of women find attractive, whereas us men, we don't tend to want a woman that every man wants. Like some men do, do you get me? And I feel like you might want want like no, a hot... Every, every man wants a, wants a woman that every man wants. You, just, you don't no, want a woman that every man's yeah, had. Yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, every man wants a woman that, that everyone but wants. But that's this is the thing. Go on. You... This is why I feel like guys are insecure. They want a model and then they're like, I need to see your Instagram. Look at your DMs. It's like, No, I ain't going to ask to see the DMs. Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe not you specifically, <laughs> no, no, but I, I see so much on the internet. My girl can't have Instagram. That's access. It's like, bruv, come on. People are going to chat to your girl if she's hot. All right. Stop All right. Okay. trying to so, police so, that. So let me say this. Right. If we get married right, yeah? If we get married right, yeah? Okay. Your, your girl, like, Open, uh, if we get married, she, she has, have, have start a new Instagram, private Instagram, family Instagram. That last one with all them beta mills and a couple guys used to be. On, yeah, how many girls always got their guys all but all but in the guys they dealt with in their in their in their social media? So yeah, if we get married, then a, a new Instagram, a new family one. No, no more that thirst trap pictures. Yeah, if I mean if it's been marriage, that's a, that's a long relationship. If you're just dating some girl who's a model, you can't be like, well. Now turn off your Instagram. That's her. she doesn't fucking know you. You've known her for like a month. No, nah, that's yeah, that's that's kind of. I'm not. And I'm not saying you say that. That's no, never. But that's, that's crazy. I, that's yeah, don't do hear, that. Don't. That's why I hear a lot of guys saying it's like, bro, you're a fucking bitch, bro. Right, guys, I'm gonna have to wrap this. We up. didn't do anything about mental health. Today. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did. We did. We did. We, did. we, we did. we had some good points. We spoke about mental health. I feel like we need to book a, a, a next uh, <laughs> a next episode to continue our conversation. So we're gonna we're gonna do this tomorrow but again. Before we close. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to say? Any last words? Anything mm-hmm. you'd like to promote? Would you want to promote your social media mm-hmm. handles? 
Yeah, um, my name is China, the man and voice. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is China. Um, you follow my Instagram. My name is China, the man and voice, and the TikTok. Uh, yeah, just want to shout out to Alicia for for inviting me down to Mission Peace Podcast. Thank you for coming. I know, all the way from London to the 0121. It's been a spicy episode. I don't even know how much we did about mental health, but... <laughs> no, we did, we did, we did get some good we points. We talked to um, Yeah, no, it was really good. No, it was a really, really good show. And yeah, man, it's, been, it's good to join up with Kings. It's good, good, good to join up with the, with the male role model. <laughs> and yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shout out to... Shout out to um, where are we now? What's the studio's name? Birmingham Podcast. Birmingham, Birmingham Podcast Hub, man. The number one place for podcasts in Birmingham. I go, yeah, I go by the male role model on all social media, not because I believe I'm the best. The thing that I love about me all my life is that I believe I'm just a regular guy. I just do whatever the fuck I want, and most guys can do that. They just don't know how to do that. You just have to make a plan for your life, take a few steps, and most people who have no direction will just funnel themselves into your life. So YouTube is the male role model, Instagram at the male role model, help people build their confidence and figure out what they want to do with their life. I go by Prince underscore Kingsley Nine. That's my Instagram. Uh, shout out to Alicia for inviting me as well. I do appreciate that. Thank you for uh, coming. Yeah, I'm um, nice meeting you guys as well. Likewise. Nice meeting you as well. All right. Thank you. We out. Take care. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>